Oh, hi, 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 everyone. How's it going today? We are going to, yeah, I think I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> suddenly I realized we're, we're like halfway down. Although later when we add more people, that actually comes sitting down. Uh, there we go. Lamborghini seats. How's it going, everybody? It is Sunday. We've got a really fun show coming up. We've got our um, backdrop today. Custom. This week's backdrop, custom backdrop by Debo Bricks. This is an Thanks, awesome. Debo. Super razzle dazzled day. And colorful because I'm wearing a gray shirt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you're wearing a blue and gray shirt, so this works out really nicely. Um, so, gosh. I can't believe it. We we hit our 200th episode, our 2,000th subscriber, 2,000 subscribers, and then Tips and Bricks, which is an amazing um, Instagram account mm -hmm. and that shows how different mock makers do uh, different effects and their builds. It's really amazing. They got like gazillions of followers, and we got on their staff pick list of favorite YouTubers. So I'm just thrilled <laughs> about that. And I know that we have, um, I know that we have, we must have a viewer to thank for that. I know, I know you know who you are. <laughs> but, um, well, those are all good things. It was, we had a great week. We had it, we did have a great week. It's been a great week. And we got to, my goodness, we did like a ton of giveaways. Mm -hmm. We finally got rid of the, I mean, we finally gave away the monkey, <laughs> the monkey kid, monkey king. <laughs> it's been the size of a small child sitting in our dining room right right so and uh, then, excuse me in our um international media studio <laughs> well it's it ceased to be a dining room a long Not, time yeah, ago it hasn't been in a it hasn't while. been a di dining room in a, at least a year Ooh, featuring old bay yes featuring my everything's old bay better today. with old bay so okay so Oh, sorry, I gotta, I gotta take these off. No, I can't, there, what's I going can't, on? Oh, I you can't, can't read, read the chat. We're gonna get I you some. I can't see new anything. Ones. I can't see nothing. Um, so, golly, mm -hmm. I'm going to, uh, I'm trying to get over here to find out who's with us today. Um, but I'm having, uh, there we go. You know, it takes lots of clicks uh, to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. So, well, click um, is always. Did someone say clicks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So we have. No, how how did that even work? I don't even understand the tech behind that. I, I don't either. It just. It just... <laughs> All right. So we. So what are we doing here? We say hi trying, to people. To we see welcome us here people. because you know on on Sundays it's all the way over here. It's true. Um. So, but I'm gonna do my. Well, best it's here. over at the communication station with Lieutenant Edward, <laughs> right? Exactly. So Adam O is here. Alexander twenty three. Apples is here. Brett Hooper. Hey Brett, how's it going? Brick uh, is here. here. Brickaroo Bonsai. Brickman Mosaics Art. Brickworm. Bubs and Lava Bat are big uh, winner of the uh, Monkey Kid Monkey King. Congratulations! Congratulations again. You're gonna be so excited. Wow, a bunch um, of bees there, like like um with the the m's yep yeah thank you very much uh, chris congrats on 201st show chalice thank you because we have reached 201 yay we have now reached 201 it's like our unbirthday exactly <laughs> uh cowboy cornado is here darren siegfried debo bricks Fabu, Fabu fan, fan MKE. MKE, the Griebling Wizard, Holly is here, who will be here joining us in just a minute, very soon. Hooded One, how's it going? JMW, JMW Music, always good to have you here. Joel Marbella, John Latrell, Johnny Cat, hi Johnny. Johnny. Matthew Builds Bricks is here. Hey Matthew, uh, Monica Barry, Mr. Ellie Daniel One, Ms. Slow Brickta, PT McEwen, Patrick Wismer, uh, Rob Ketcherside. My goodness. A long list today. Rob Zicardi and the Zicardis, Lana, Elena, and Vanessa. How's it going? Um, Shane Levan is here. Hi, Always Shane. great to see you, Shane. Uh, Smoke Up Johnny, the Brick Orphanage, the Hornburgers, Ahoy Hoy Hornburgers, uh, WGJL Builds, uh, Wilfred, Wilfred uh, Bonsoir, uh, Zach, Zach Martinez, Martinez, and of course, Zarakino. Kim. Kim Zarakino, Zarakino Kim. I, I always say them in like whatever. Oh, and it looks like uh, Zach Highmark just popped in as well. Both Zachs. We have Zach Highmark and Zach Martinez today. I think a couple mm. more people just popped in too. Yep. But uh, be that as it wow, may, we will catch background. up with you. I'm, I'm going to have to do a lot for my energy mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. as exciting mm -hmm. as this background. It's like, like laughing. 
you know, I feel like I need to do what Goldie Hawn, <laughs> crazy sixties dancing. Goldie you know, Hawn was my favorite she person was, in life. She was, she was pretty great on that show. Anyway, so <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> enough of that foolishness. Another show um, that was old when we were young. It's true, and and it's well, okay. So I got to tell y'all. Every season of the Muppet Show is on Disney oh. Plus right now, and I, I, I did, I did a Twitter post and one on Facebook of like the lineup of like seventies celebrities. Yeah, that it's were like on the every show. special guest from Love Boat was definitely there, <laughs> and it was, I mean, amazing. Like Rita Moreno was actually the first guest. She was great. on Muppet Shows. She does one an, episode. She one. does an awesome tango. She, oh, it was, a, uh, like, it was a pash, actually. It was a oh, pash I'm dance, sorry, not a tango. It, it seemed like a violent tango. It was um very, <laughs> yeah. She threw up lots of spinning around. It was it was pretty great, but yeah, the, the, the it was like a a laundry list of everybody. I mean, Ethel Merman was on there, uh, Ben Vereen, Lena Horn, Sandy just, Duncan. Sandy Duncan, if you remember who that is. Uh, anyway, um, okay. I think it's. Um, I think maybe we should invite our guests on yeah, before we, we fall have, too far well, down we this have rabbit hole. A lot of Lego to talk about. We today. do have a lot of Lego to talk about. But uh, I mean, meanwhile, I'm gonna. When you to can talk about the Muppet Show, it's a good day. Oh, and you know who else? Vincent Price, totally amazing on uh, Muppet Show first season. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, okay. Here we go. Do we a are going touch to touch of business here. Okay. Uh, first, let's uh, j- uh, let's have our guests on. We All today right. we have Blair. Hi, Blair. Hi, Blair. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Awesome. Still uh, here in hotel land, but I've got my. Oh wow! Look at you. Uh oh, he's got his. Uh-oh, pause. Well, well, while we're waiting some, for some um Buto going on. While we're waiting for Blair, let's say hi to Moto. Hi Moto. Hello. Hey, Moto. How's Just it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Good to see you, Blair. Hi guys. How's it going? I like Blair has his X-ray shirt on. Yeah. And of course, looks like he got vaporized. Uh, oh, and yeah. of course, um Holly is here. Hi Holly. Ahoy hoy. <laughs> Black, we're all wearing black T-shirts, except for the except for the guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, well. Yeah. And usually we are. We've got the black T-shirts on, going on, but it's the um. You know, we decided to go gray today. Oh, I've got my. I've got my. Halloween. Oh, I love hat. that cat. I love oh, wow. that shirt. Wow. Yeah, yeah I, I love awesome. this shirt. <laughs> it's a favorite. I know, uh, but I um, every time you wear it, we had such a we had such a great background today. I couldn't. You know, I couldn't wear anything, you know, like I usually do, like bright and colorful. Yeah. I feel like I need to step it up and put like some dots back here or something. <laughs> I love this background. Yeah. It's so good. I get, I There's a lot of lavender in that background. There is a lot. La- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holly, stop is trying this becoming to make a lavender the new coral because it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I we should leave it up to Tricky Lug to decide. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I have a serious, serious design question uh, here. Oh, my Much goodness. controversy. When Flynn and I were first going out in the um, early 90s and we were doing shows and making sets together and thinking about colors that went together, he was of the opinion that pink and orange gay go great together pink and orange go great together they do and i was not into it at all and i'm kind of warming up Which what one? do you think Which pink one? and orange light, yes or light no? pink or the dark pink yeah i was gonna say it depends it depends on the shades but yeah they, it depends yeah. on the shades but yeah. i'm talking strictly that like 60s pop pink and orange that they always would put together it was just it it's like candy. It's so nice. It's okay, sherbet. Got... It, it is sherbet. You, you exactly. um, you're not, you're not talking pink. dark pink, right? No, like. Okay. Like so then we're pink. dealing with the medium pink? Yeah. yeah it's, it's funny. I don't know that there's a pink mm-hmm. and orange. I need to look at the pink. Or... There is, no, though. The there's, there is like a sherbet, like light pink and orange, yeah, and, and usually mixed with like brown. Oh, the yeah. light pink. There yeah. you go. That's the and, one. See, and see, Wilfred makes a good point. Pink plus orange equals coral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Carl so will this, reign supreme. This yeah. is the colors you're looking for, the light pink and the orange? Pretty much. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like that more a me I think more the medium pink personally is the more 60s style would is be it, the, the guess, medium the medium pink in that rather than the bright the light okay. pink. Everything yeah. is because I guess medium pink. medium pink to me feels a little more like hot pink and that goes more like 80s. So, I kind of Oh yeah, yeah. it's Yeah, so Richard I got I got to side with you. I got to side with you. It's got to be the white pink with the orange. It can't be the medium. Yeah, I like maybe maybe I like Sorry. it better if, Sorry, if they have different values. One's more saturated than the other. Or or they need a contrast. Like it can be kind of the the same value, pink and orange, but then it needs like some kind of contrasting value with it. Yay! Okay. Well, I'm, I'm so glad. glad. I'm, all day. <laughs> I'm so glad yeah, this for this expert it... feedback. <laughs> <laughs> this uns this unsolicited, okay. unsolicited feedback. All right, so um, I love this. Bridges of North Texas blog says pink and orange sherbet are an eye <laughs> There you go. What more do you need? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. All right. So very tasty. No, speaking hungry. of oh well, I guess we have we'll we'll do pins real quick, and then I want to dive into this model because we'd really love to try and finish it by the end of today's show. That's 300 so much pieces. It's doable. We it's can do yes. this. Within reach. We had 451 pieces in the last model, and we put it together on the show, except that this is technic, of course, and the the levels of possible. <laughs> and God forbid anybody mess up and have to undo anything. <laughs> yes, brickworm. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I wouldn't call them arguments. I would call them lively discussions. Yeah, I like all the colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well. Oh, look, minifig chick, too. Oh, minifig chicks, you're very good. <clears throat> Hi, Cara. Hey. How's it going? Good, good. How's everybody? Wow, we are like good. A, we that's a good. new background for you. Trying, trying something new today so paint pusher can actually watch comfortably. Oh, we and you can... now, you've added just the touch of color we needed. We needed that sherbet green to finish oh, off the color. Now, I have to say, there is a gemstone that is a pink and orange combo. It is a Pod Parasha's sapphire. Oh. Uh, so nature cool. approves of the combination. Thank you. Yeah. And vindicated. Well, Cara, between our backgrounds, it looks like we're on Heart Lake Island. And the 30 years later. <laughs> it totally I is, right? Yeah, my lovely best friend. My, uh, okay, my I'm going to have to tell on you a little bit, Cara. I have to tell okay. on you a little bit because I know that you're sitting in bed right now. I am totally. <laughs> I will fully admit that. Yay. <laughs> Next level, <laughs> casual. Who had casual on their bingo card? <laughs> I know, totally right? Casual. Okay. It is some next level casual. So let's do these pins and then let's get started working on this awesome model. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Ready? All, All right. right. Who goes first? I'm ready too. Uh, why don't we go? We'll go okay. and then we'll go around us and then Blair, then Moto, then Holly, and then Kara, like kind of how we are on screen. You know, this was a gift from Minifig Chick and Paint Pusher. Oh, is it going to focus? Yay. Yes. Pirates of the Caribbean. And. and it opens. Uh, it's queen. Yes, the helmsman yes. on the ride, one hundred percent. And then I've got my. Whoops! A challenge picking pins now. Um, oh, that don't have green in yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> come on, come on, buddy. Uh, it's Hades. He's not focusing because from he's, Hercules. He's a recalcitrant god. Well, oh well. Anyway, Hades, ladies and gentlemen. Well, he was vanquished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blair, what have you got for us today? Y'all have actually run me out of pins, and while still being away from home, I can't go scouring, but I did get my order of the new Citizen Brick Melty oh. Ice Cream guys. Nice. And I can't wait until I'm warm enough to enjoy some ice cream again. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Oh, well, you know, the there's a heavy ice cream influence in those video. I mean, like there's a there's like an ice cream mermaid and then there's it's... an ice cream guy. <laughs> yeah. Like it was yeah. almost paralleling the development. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it, there it's uh I well, you know, they and because we had the ice cream cone from Lego Movie 2, which is kind of where 
anthropomorphic Lego ice cream kind of started, uh, I think. Yeah. If I if I may be so bold. If I may um, be so bold. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Plus they made a they did make one that was like a minifig head that's all melty too. Yeah. Oh nice. <laughs> Jeez. Guys not having a good day. Okay. Yeah. Uh Moto. I'm gonna guess I know what you're gonna hold up. Or at least it's gonna be one of Take three a guess. things. Take a guess. Um, it's the Mickey one that we sent you. Okay, you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> I was guessing. Nice. Oh, yay. Whoa. Oh, oh, mm. a Represent. Uh, <laughs> nice. nice power move. Oh yeah, move. baby. Power move went to Michaels. Yeah. When, there I got, you go. when I got the dots, I'm like, I might as well get a pin back. Gotta make something oh, that's out of awesome. it. Oh, Moto, I'm so gonna do that at the next convention I go to. So check this out. I yeah, can I'll now wear. I can now wear Clicky. Oh. That's, like, that's one more very clever way to always have it on hand. I love it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah very nice. Don't grab it it's also self-defense. If you pull the backing you. out, you can like try to fend off fend off enemies. I might do it magnetic so I don't have holes in every single one of my shirts. That's how I do it too, yeah. But then thanks to Kara, thanks to Minifig Chick, um, we already have them on our belts on retractable keychain holders too. I love those things. Never to be but with we still needed his jewelry. Yes. All right. Accessorize. Kara, what have you got for us today? Kara in Greenland. B is, is for Baloo. For Baloo. I love Baloo. <laughs> I do too. Favorite. My He's favorite. A favorite. He's a All favorite. All right, Holly. All right, mine's a special one today, and it okay. kind of looks like shirt. It's the same color. Um, but I ran out of particularly cool Disney pins, so I'm kind of going through my Leica stash at the moment. Mm -hmm. So this one in particular is a really cool pin by itself. But then um, I ordered a whole bunch of these for our crew during award season when we went down to LA for like the Annies and the DES awards and whatnot. So like all the guys. We're wearing these on their uh, like suits on their lapels. All right. So, um, it's pretty classy. That's a pretty good one right there. Oh, oh that's very yeah. nice from wow. Kubo. Yeah. Very nice. That's awesome. Sweet. One of my favorites. Very special. We we won by the way. We won best animated film for uh, visual effects that year. This is oh, a lucky win. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, I gotta say I love this. Chris Chalice's name is is his cub leader name. Baloo hmm. is his cub leader name, yeah. and that's awesome. so appropriate and perfect, and I love it. <laughs> that's a thing in in UK Cub Scouts. Baloo is is a like a formal name for a particular that's awesome. position. Oh. That's awesome. Things I did not know. That's great. Okay, well, we learned to so get much. to the 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 meat of today's episode, if you will. We are going to be putting together this here Technic off-road buggy. It runs uh, with um, uh, Powered Up. But here's the thing with the Powered Up. Can I, where's the, the box? Yes. This is where's different the from the Powered Up that we've shown on the show before. It is. This yeah. is actually a Technic Powered Up box which attaches, it's chunky. To, attaches to Technic yeah. and is gray. And the, the ones that attach uh, to actual uh, system bricks are white. Well, and how many how many axle outputs does it have? Let's see here. But it, has, it does, it's, it's, just, it's just, just the hub and it can support uh, four motors. And, and it came with two motors and these motors, again, are different from the other ones that we've shown on the on the show before. Well, they're the, the Technic ones that are, a lot of the powered up ones are based on studs, they're system attachments, and these are Technic attachments. And so, and so if you're just joining us and you weren't here the other day, we, uh, Lego, uh, very kindly sent us a bunch of sets to put together on the show. Uh, they're doing a little thing to see, like, what kind of people interest? Uh, what kind of interest people have in different sets and that sort of thing? So we got. Um, they sent us multiple copies so that some of us would be able to put the the sets together together, and 
maybe a couple extra sets to give away. What? Uh, I don't know, but we do. Like a... <laughs> we do actually have a copy of the set that we are putting together today um, to give away at the end of the oh, show. Wow. So that's very exciting. Um, also, Lego has been kind enough to uh, offer us an affiliate link for the sets that we are putting together. It's not for the whole Lego um, Shop at Home website, unfortunately. I'm sorry, it's only for the sets we're putting together. But um, those uh, affiliate links, there's one in the description of this video. There's also, uh, it's also posted in the Discord, and I will also post it here in the chat. Now, we are not asking anybody to buy anything. That's not what this is about, absolutely not. Um, if you, but if you are interested in the set and you like it and you use that affiliate link, uh, we here at Tricky Bricks uh, get a little, uh, little something from Lego to help out with running the channel and all that good it stuff. It goes back into the show. Yeah, it goes back we'll into kick the back. show. So uh, mm -hmm. just uh, that's what that's about. All right, so just being completely transparent, Lego did send us these and we are putting them together uh, with their uh, generous donation. And giveaways. Yay. Yay. And FYI, if you buy the Technic Off-Road Buggy um, until the end of the month, it is double VIP points. Oh, that's right. Wow. It's it's on yep. Double VIP points until the end of the month. So. Oh, you had me at double VIP. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. It doesn't even matter what set it is. Double VIP points. Double VIP. I'm just saying. Point. So I have yeah. my iPad out here so I can pull the pieces. And I'm going to put some of this together. Technic is. I don't hear people say this much, but Technic is my favorite theme. It's the one I get the most sort of play value out of. <laughs> so I think, um, why don't we just go ahead and dive in and start uh, building. Now I'm gonna have our down so, cam on. I can put mine, flip mine down. While you build the set, I was thinking it'd be interesting if I try to come up with a technique using this new piece that comes in that set. Oh. oh yeah, I'm super excited Can about you this. Highlight him? So, what piece is that? so for anybody who's familiar with Technic, this is the only time a lift arm has the pin set at 90 degrees. So cool. Oh, like, hang on. Let me, get you, let me put you on the main oh. screen there, Moto. Do you see that? Yes. yes. And then when you flip it over, mm -hmm. it's on the other side, in between, yeah. like yeah. the other one, right? That is, yeah. so you guys, packed. you guys are putting together a set where the first time they've ever put a beam at 90 degrees for a lift arm. Wow, it's so, it's so tight. This changes everything. So I'm going to try to put some crazy stuff together while you guys are building sets. We're just going to come up oh, with so the Rob most Ketcher side, just to, now. Rob, just to clarify, this the that affiliate link is not a discount of any kind. It's just if you use that link, it, okay. it gets linked to us. Lego knows you bought it because you watched the show. Yep. And that and kind you of can thing. take me off the big screen because I have to go start pulling some parts. And okay, I'm sorry. Turn off my camera I'm just do, a little. Doing all of the text right now. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to start pulling. So pieces. I think what I'm going to do is this because I kind of liked this layout. Uh, there. So that way we can we can build here and. See if I can't get. Oh, it's got suspension. Look, it's got shock absorbers. Oh yeah, it's got some of my favorite pieces. Even my daughter went and grabbed those right away and said, yeah. "Like, ooh, these pieces." Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there are there are two varieties. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, think I need to get this. So say more about that, Blair. Are they are they um, different force on the two? So spring. Yeah, they're so springy. So I think the Wi-Fi in this hotel is cycling like every couple minutes. And oh, I, got it. I'm not sure I think what's the up. Yellow ones are more forceful than. The, oh yeah. Um, than the gray it's like one. at least, at least double or triple, maybe well, even you can more. See the springs are different. One, the spring is very the the coils are distant from each other, and then this one is like alternating a bunch close next to each other, and then distant, and then close again. Interesting. It makes me unreasonably oh. excited when the first step is a motor. <laughs> yeah, I oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And when we get to the motorized part, I'm going to swap out the camera um, to the tablet so that I can use the phone for the remote control. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. 
Oh, I think I need to put my glasses on. I can't see these instructions. All right. You know what's really funny? Our lights in our room right now are so dim <laughs> that it's like the only way it works um, to get the right light on the uh, the camera for the show. It's so weird. So I'm not entirely sure why, but these have these have recently become some of my favorite tech parts right there. Yeah, which ones? I end up using these a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. I almost yeah. never plan for those. I just kind of turn to them if there's not another piece that works. Well, I guess that's the situation I end up in a lot. <laughs> what do you? Well, there's um, there's very few pieces that shift 90 degrees. Um, yeah. I can show uh, Holly. I've got a better piece for 90 degree turns. If you want to see it, I'll go grab it. So those giant motors and that giant box is you're all you're building the car around it. That's what it yeah. seems like. Yeah. That's gonna be big. That's, That's what it seems yeah. like. Yeah, I mean it is it is an expensive set, but the fact that it comes with the hub and two motors, it makes it about right. Well those you know, by themselves are pretty expensive. When yeah. I first looked into powered up um, it wasn't a sandbox yet. All of the models, you would get the model and then you had to plug the hub in exactly that way and it would work for the for the model with that programming. But now they opened it up so you can, you know, program them basically any way you want as long as you can assign the motor to an open port on the hub. Yeah, so Holly, I don't want to slow you down, but have you ever seen this piece? Oh yeah, I have a ton of those. I use those a lot. Oh, yeah, those are I have great. a ton of these because you can, you, uh, before this piece, this was the way you would get everything to twist 90 degrees in technical yeah. world. I actually have, you know what, mm -hmm. now that I'm looking at the parts in this, there's there's quite a few um, 93 parts. So they have those in here in the gray, and then they also have these double, um, yeah. their double pin. And then of course, you know, these guys too are, are pretty handy for also 90 degree turns. Although, you know, then you're going pin and axle. Well, I gotta yeah. say like for, I mean, just even if you don't like the layout of this particular car, the fact that you get the motor and these like giant wheels and like the two motors, the giant wheels and the the hub, it's um not a terrible, I don't, I wouldn't consider it a bad value. Well, what no, I was, it's got some cool colors too. With I do the, like the color combination the, for sure. The panels and everything. To me, it feels like a really good Technic starter set. Like if you want to get a lot of elements that work together and it you is. want to build something that moves. It's actually well, it's actually a good Technic and powered up starter kit. Well, because they don't sell oh, yeah, just right. they don't sell Technic starter kits that are just like here's a bunch of or maybe they do I don't know I've seen them before but not much here's a bunch of axles here's a few gears and pins we've pretty Ooh. much got it from sets or yep. and moto moto it's got those ninety degree pieces that you love in gray which is yeah, cool yeah they were yeah. showing that and um, one thing I noticed I don't know if you all saw but I was playing with the wheels. And they could actually make gears because of the way that the treads are on them. Right. You could have a compound angle geared system based off of these wheels. Oh, which is pretty totally cool. Could. They would work with they work, they would work at like thirty you know, at least thirty, sixty degrees. They seem to match really well. They really do. And it could be something at like a really high speed and if it screws up, I mean it's the rubber's not gonna damage. So. Well, you know what it might be good for is I've used tension things before to um, drive a conveyor belt. Stickers already. Mm -hmm. huh. Stickers. I may skip the stickers. I was just thinking the same thing. I may not. I'm going to skip them because I love them and I want to yeah. use them on I something else. I was thinking else. the thing stickers, and yeah. yeah, those are pretty, those are pretty sweet. I kind of want to yeah. see them. And um, I don't know if anybody saw Blair pointed out on Instagram the the Moto detail. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? Moto, Where? you didn't see that tag you in that? Yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah. Well, I so what? What? you can see it on my Insta. It's very small, but it says Moto R on there. It's in yellow. One of the smaller. Uh, the smaller. Oh types. man. <laughs> Now he has to buy one. <laughs> you're, official. you're official. You're official. Oh. <laughs> I did that just for you, Moto. 
In fact, you could probably call them and and insist that they send you one. (laughs) Oh, so Miss Cat Cat mentions that the stunt racer is a little bit cheaper, but also a good starter pack for Technic pieces and motors. They have some. They have some really cool like um, monster trucks right now too. I noticed that were on my list here. Honestly, when I first saw this set, I loved the color and the design, but I had no idea that it was powered up until I was getting offered to build it. Yeah, it's Is it powered up or power functions? Pa- powered up. Okay. Say, Moto. Yes? I think I remember last week you posted an article about newly designed Technic pins. Yes. But when I read the article, or and when I read the article, which I'm hoping you'll say something about, I ended up unclear really as to be able to, uh, like looking at the pins in this set, it's hard for me to tell if they're the new ones or not. So the new ones, the new ones on the hip that goes around the middle will have a flat part to it on either side. It won't be so, fully Sorry, removed. I just wanted to point out real quick. Yeah, you can see they these are. motors. Um, always have these holes around and we have built up this little Technic contraption and it's got two pins sticking out here and when this axle goes through this hole it inserts those pins in and now you have a firm you know connection okay guys I found something cool I did not know what this was when I was sorting the parts this right here I was wondering what this part is was it, I don't know if you is can it the it. wire holder it, yeah, it's like a, it's like cable management. Yeah, that's the cable. Oh. That's the cable management. Oh wait, right. sorry, say that again, Holly. I've sorry, never I'm, built I'm a building in. Oh yeah, yeah. Very They're cool. starting to put those in. They used to only yeah, be so like spike, right. spike type sets, educational sets. Yeah. Yeah, there's like that red one right there, and then this uh, it holds the holds the cable in place. Oh, yeah, I'm goodness. definitely you using those for robot hands very soon. Millennium. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> It's the little thing. Wait, 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 now, including Lego man, uh, cable M- management. Richard, yay, you know, I love the, cable doesn't, management. Doesn't need any other things now for the rest of his life. I've so the, <laughs> managing cables. Did you guys know that the cable management piece you shut off is the secret piece for the latest Iron Builder? Oh, oh I, I believe it is. I believe it oh, is. Oh, how funny. Four That's nine. cool. Yep. Step 11. I'm into it. I like it. Well, then I'm sure somebody else is already using it as a robot hand. <laughs> you probably. Yeah. Well, J J is in there, so yeah, I bet you it's gonna go. He's gonna go straight to using that as a hand. He's a bionicle beast. Any, anybody else that noticed though? Speaking of cable management, how they magically folded the cable to into that square shape oh. in the back. Oh yeah. 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 I don't think we may be as far along as y'all are. We're on, we're on step eleven. That's really fast. That's all I know. Well, yeah, it's running the tech and building is always uh, interesting. So my understanding is that these new pins are very similar in function to the old ones. And the person who wrote the article didn't see, except that maybe they were a little easier to remove, (laughs) that Uh there was much functional difference. Was that your takeaway, Moto? Yeah, functionally they're they're no different. Um, why they're why they're molding them the new way? I don't, I couldn't say. But I even you said they were a little pins, shinier. Well, your blue pins that, um, should also have the flat a flat uh, component on either side of the hip as well. If they're the new blue ones. So check this out. I love this um, three those pieces that you were just talking about, Moto. Your favorite pieces. Three of them on a three pin. Oh. Yes, so that that's how you make a door. So it's like a hinge. Yeah. Oh, and nice. it's like actually a three-way. There's like a three-way hinge. Oh, nice. On a okay, guys. Full pen. I'm going to show off some stuff here in a second, too, because this is okay. interesting to me. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. Okay. I'm loving this building. Mul- multiples of us building at the same time is nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So what they've done with those 93 pieces we were just talking about. Hey, hang on, <laughs> Allie. Let me. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, just like let me know when you're ready, and then I'll make sure you get yeah. those. So those pieces we were just talking about, these right here, um, they've used these essentially as a hinge going across here. So now this puts this at an angle, like a hinge, nice. which I think is really interesting. Um, and then, you know, th- this is always the, the crazy thing that uh, it's kind of the 
the benefit of, of building with Technic is that you can more easily build at crazy angles. So that's kind of how they're getting all those angles to connect like that is interesting. Yeah. Well, I found is, that is there any friction on the hinge or is it really no. loose? No, it's really loose. But you've got the you've got the lift arm there holding it in place. It just needs to get it at that quirky angle. Well, the amount of friction is a blue pin's worth of friction. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's not it. none, none. It's not gray pin. <laughs> I'll take a blue pin's worth of friction for five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take two gray, please. Uh oh, cable management's happening. I mean, uh oh. It's your, it's your, it's your time. Okay, where, <laughs> what step are we looking at? Here? I'm glad I wasn't the only one excited about that because I don't build. I really don't build a lot of Technic sets. Well. I always just buy parts that I need when I need them. Um, because Technic sets are almost always hard, and I just, I can't. I have no more capacity for giant tires. I really don't. So okay. I just tend to not buy. Them. <laughs> I, get, I gotta say, I'm excited. There are What's red that? Mixel joints, ball joint Technic pieces now in red yeah. that's yeah. super cool yeah i see i see know. this being used as a game piece on like a, a, a board game like or yeah i could yeah. see that or it could be like a, a joystick for an arcade game oh yeah you, you guys let me know when you're ready for me to show you a weird technique for these okay things. we're ready all we're right. always ready for you to show us a weird technique okay. <laughs> all right moto so you know how um large landscape components like snake queen you have yep. to use a lot of brick? Yes. Not anymore. If you use the art bases with these in combination with the three pin. Oh, whoa. You have an instant technic structure at 90 degrees that you can build rock work off of. It's, and it's rigid. Blown. It's whoa. rigid. It's not going to drop your background. That's so great. Or you can make a board cube if you go inside out. A board cube. Well, and that's the thing you can can I say a close-up of your connections on the back, from the back? There you go. I do that, right? And so okay. it's easy to go upside down with that as well. Yeah, oh, I would wow. use a lift arm as a in-between to make sure the blue pins are oh, all tucked in properly, pins. but I was just sketching. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. But if you think about a brick base, so these guys... These art plates, if you put a base plate underneath them, are basically at the height of a mill's base, right? So then I was thinking, what if you could go vertical with Technic to get height very quickly at scale using Technic, right? Using pins rather than a bunch of other stuff. Well, and it looks like it might, I mean, you could kind of pull it off if you had a plate on either side. The offset's just enough to where you could work out the math. Well, you know that... Moto, the challenge I've had making landscape using Technic for vertical scale, and it's something that I'll do again and again, is that then converting back at various heights back into system, you know, and making all your structure work can get really tricky. You know, you have to you have to deal yeah. with the Lego math to space it out all right. Yeah, you could you'd have to build ramps and stuff to get the more broken up. But I think these are a game changer in order to do that stuff. The type of um, you know, this type of, uh, you know, people are using like Duplo, they're creating lattices, they're burning up filler brick. I'm just like, why not go this way and be done with it? You've got well, it's compact and rigid. Yeah, and it uses so few pieces. No, I'm curious. What it's the... lightweight too. It's going to be a lot lighter than the heavy all brick built stuff. And it's modular, so you can, you know, take it Relatively, apart and yeah. go to the convention. Yeah. Relatively. Anyway. Relatively modular. Well, that's pretty probably hard to take apart once you get all those pins in, right? Uh, yeah, 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 was, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's always a good right? Like, that's okay. the whole point of it, though. I Not mean, that's the point. Hard. If you if you want a base to build something off of, you don't want it to fall yeah. down. Technic, yeah. when in doubt, technic. You know, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm a little bit surprised that they haven't yet. As far as I know, come out with um, like a very specialized Technic brick tool that's specifically meant just for Technic parts. For like, I mean, I guess you can kind of use a brick separator to some degree, but I feel like you're missing some tools. <laughs> like, well, I'm, yeah, I'm glad I had one just now. I, yeah, I do. I mean, I do use the brick separator, but I just feel like 
you know, sometimes you got to go for the tweezers. And sometimes yeah, you I use them. other Technic pieces more often. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have to look this yeah. up. I don't know how I'd ever find this again, but I saw a thing online once. Um, someone had listed out five connections, I think it was, that you could make with Technic that you can never take apart again ever. They are <laughs> really? permanent forever yeah. because you've yeah, lost permanent. the little two by axle in there. And it's buried, <laughs> and you'll never get it out. Yeah, I believe it. I, I think I've been there. <laughs> yeah, there are some unreversible Technic uh, yeah. builds. builds. Yeah, they are not meant to come apart. Not, not in sets, though, which is good. Oh, there's another unit. But yeah, Holly, the tweezers and the forceps do come in handy when you start getting into this stuff. Well, also, if you're working with Technic nonstop for a couple hours, you'll realize that your fingers are on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're mocking with it, because you have to constantly pull the pins in and out, in and out, and then yep. you're callous. It is very no. true. And I have very delicate little lady fingers that aren't happy. Me too. <laughs> you know, they made, <laughs> Same. They made fun of me on Lego Masters. They made fun of me because I pulled out pins with my teeth. <laughs> well, how else are you going to do it, you know? I do that. Well, you're you're pull pull pins with your fingers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hey, yeah, look, here, something. here's another unique piece. Yeah, that I one's think. pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah. you know what that is? No, Richard, those are um, those are used in order to get the uh, suspension to uh, the, the wheels mm -hmm. to. You know, uh oh, things. that's information I need to know. Yeah, it's a good yeah they're like they're like zero friction mixel ball sockets. Yeah, they're used for the control arms of. Wheels. Oh, and wheels. I see we have some like three-way pins here and yep. stuff. So the only reason is, I know this is because that's how the Jeep, that's how the Land Rover Discovery set went together. This is like a oh super yeah, I haven't put that, that together yet. There's the um, there's the little red, the little red mixel balls that Blair is talking about. Yeah, do You're do be to, mindful. So Holly's starting to build. When, Holly, Holly's hang on, hang on. Yeah, I was just uh, saying, do be mindful when you're inserting the um, lengths of axles to only go as deep as they tell you to go because. They, they're yes. using them like in sequence to attach more stuff. Correct. Uh, yeah. They're like, yep. like kind of like push pins assembly. Okay. Oh, wow. This is already, I mean, look at this contraption. This is, wow, this is crazy. This is crazy already. It's so wild. <laughs> of course, Moto's sitting there. He's like, child's play. <laughs> it's not child's play. That's, that, no, it's all buildings, good building. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I would never say that. It does, it does, say, ten, it does say 10 and up. It is child's play. <laughs> <laughs> Moto would never say that as he solves two Rubik's Cubes simultaneously, one in each hand, without looking at them. <laughs> oh, I did. I put it on. Oh, I it. guess what we missed by a minute. Oh, oh is, it the, is, that, uh -oh. is it that time? Yeah, I was going to actually... Um, I was actually going to say, uh, Kara and Moto, if you see anything, you know, like, fun in the chat that we should highlight, just let me know. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah, we need a heads up. Feel, I'm free really to, I'm uh, feel free to read out any comments if you want. I'm, I'm uh, trying. That, that I sound... love these. I love these. I love these. Oh, yeah. With the, with the, oh, uh, that's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. All right, everybody. It is time yeah. for uh, to pause in our building. Okay. Have a little break. That's Get right. It. It's time for Yay. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you got the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta change our camera on now. Okay. You there? Say hi everybody. <laughs> I'm the worst dog ever. There you go. Dog okay, ever. look, say hi to everyone. Good boy. Yay, Logan! He got his whole face in the cookie container. <laughs> and one more. Yay, Logan! Good boy. And Skittles is here. Hi, and everybody. A cat that I need to see a, get a better look at, but let's say hi right. to Skittles first. She only gets, she only gets one because she's a really bad dog. Oh, uh -oh. somebody was naughty. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What did she do? <laughs> She kept me up all night last night. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I love that, Moto. Is that like a, I, a cat <laughs> spaceship with a cat inside? Oh, you get it. So there's a cat inside 
a bigger cat. So I call this the Meow Mech. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> but yeah, it can sit, it can uh, play, it can bounce around, it can chase laser pointers, it can do whatever. Fully articulated oh, yeah. and swooshable. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a magenta couch in there because every cat needs a couch, right? Oh, very <laughs> nice. I am. Wow, this is not joking around. <laughs> but yeah, there were... there's the face. Meow. <laughs> I would love to see. Was his name? I'm sorry, not Sir Meows a lot. Who was the the full size head mask? Yeah, that that was Sir Meows a lot. Yeah, I would love to see <laughs> Sir Meows a lot holding the Meow Mac. Oh man, that would be yeah, that would be epic. Would there be super meta. <laughs> And everybody, yes. that was the pause that refreshes. It was. That's right. Logan cookie time. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> Yay. Favorite part of the show. All right. So check this out. I'm sure. Curious... hear that. <laughs> so this is um, the way this fits in. You were talking about like the push pins, like this axle. Yeah. goes yeah. all the way through the right. entire side of all of these Technic pieces, right? That's some serious pre-planning. So you hope that you, yeah, look at that. All the it way. It feels like WandaVision, right? Where you don't really know what's happening until it all starts <laughs> right. to come together. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not guessing. gonna any spoilers, but I gotta say no this last episode had a, oh my was good. It was amazing. Yep. And I was so excited. <laughs> yep. Where, where is this going? Oh, this is tough. Hang on. We got a tough connection Did here. Did you know? So yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. Confused. The Disney, Are you the where Disney I am, Blair? servers blew up. Are getting the, the these on? Oh, no, no, no. You're a little bit ahead of me. <laughs> Sorry. What were you saying, Mono? Sorry. So when, when WandaVision dropped at midnight, um, the server at service broke. That's how many oh. people stayed up to watch it. Oh, oh I see wow. <laughs> Well, I'm really, I, I gotta say, I'm super happy that it's doing well because a lot of people were super skeptical about it at first because of the way it started. Like they weren't, they didn't get, they just didn't get it. Yeah. And that, you know, all of that is so much, you know, all of the shows they were referencing and, and copying, like all of that is in my pop culture lexicon. So I was just, I was thrilled. Yeah, um, there's like three different channels that what they do is they go through and explain all the e Easter eggs. They have they do like 50 Easter eggs or 60 Easter eggs or whatever. Yep. And it was really really helpful because there is just a ton of production design that's put okay. into every aspect of that show. Yeah, I really um, I really enjoyed uh, I really enjoyed all of the yeah reading all of those as well. There was a there's a I can't remember which one I looked at, but there was one that was like. And this means this, and this means this. I was like, dang, man. Hey, Sammy, you're a little late. People are doing really doing their homework. Look at this yeah. contraption. It is crazy. <laughs> it is, you double isn't it amazing? That I got when... the cable management right on that. Like, hold this here and see if it's going the right direction. Uh, I think so. No, it's supposed to be coming out that way. I think. So that's what blows me away about technical sets yeah, is, right. you know, system sets are so optimized for every single part these technic ones it's like there is no little you know nothing is left uh not to not be purposeful right yeah. right it's very intentional like that like i wonder i wonder how a technic designer does no, so it needs I mean, to be coming out that direction. oh well that's easy yeah yeah, it comes together like an amazing puzzle. It's mm -hmm. so cool. it really does. Mm -hmm. It really yeah. does. But as we've pointed out before, don't miss a piece of the puzzle on step sixteen <laughs> and discover it on step seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and like also, that. you find yourself assuming that something might be one way, like oh, yep. another pin should go here, and then oh wait, no, I got to back that out. Yeah, and it's a lot doesn't. of like it's it's um, symmetrical too. So you're doing one side and then the other, and it's really easy to kind of get turned around as you're flipping things around. Yeah, and it's, it's a delicate just dance. just not symmetrical enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at this. I'm impressed you all are building it. Yeah, you camera. guys. So, 
Richard and Flynn, you've got the control arms, I believe, for what's <laughs> going to be a suspension, a small suspension. Oh, the little, the, the little ball joint thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. The floating guys, suspension. Yeah. Just wait till they. Just wait till you put the uh, spring, the spring um, mm -hmm. shocks on there. The shocks. Well, oh, here come those awesome lift arms. Wow, I feel so. I feel like I know something about cars now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no okay, I know now I know there's a thing called shocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I already knew that. And you don't want to bottom them out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if you go, if, if you go too this. quick and you, put, if you if you bottom your shock out, you'll destroy the you have to pay a lot of money to get your uh part. Well, we definitely well, don't want that. These that, are so like strong. I don't think these are going to bottom out. These are no, like one, crazy strong. I'm oh, here comes the hub. The suspension and steering on this to improve oh, my Mars see. rover. Yeah, hubba, hubba. Uh, yeah, I would say. Um, so hmm. I, I, someone in my love made a me sent a message that the. Um, there you go. Wow, that is not crazy. this one, but the um, Top Gear car was discounted because the box was damaged. And two of us had a had a car race to try to get there first. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. The other person, she had like a two block head start and got to the Lego store ahead of me. And oh, had that's it hysterical. Little, had it in her little hands, smiling at me as I walked in the store like this. <laughs> All right. And I was cool with that. I was cool with that. She's awesome. Because I wanted to, I wanted to learn how to do steering all the modern technic ways. Oh, only one. Only one? Yep. And then, uh, then also a black one. This one looks like a great lesson plan in how to put together all the f a functions this, of, a, yeah, of a car. This is oh, this is so, so informative. This is very yeah, it really so is. Using a lot of different techniques in a tiny amount of space. Yeah, this that's just, why I like it. It's for some reason, compact. this really amuses me. Just this, all this, like, wiggledy business and stuff kind of <laughs> hanging off right you. there. Yeah, I was just noticing that it's making me a little nervous, but they I all come together. It's all gonna connect in the end, I know. So as I look across the three iron chefs, I notice Blair is way in the lead. But well, I want to make is. sure well, we had we had some fan yeah. requests to make sure that we show it off driving. So I'm treating yeah. it semi like a convention speed build so that we can get to that point oh, for good. everybody Thank in the chat. Yeah, yeah well, we're I'm just trying, behind. and, just and tell I'm tell just what... trying to make it to the next minute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so step twenty-three. Um, Technic speed no, builds are cruel. I did have a bad dog I had to feed, that. so you know. Um, no, there's two pieces. Mm -hmm. There's a connector. Oh, okay. Technic speed builds are dangerous because if you do screw up that one step, there is a lot of work to go back. That's right. Yeah, I'm yeah. Checking everything. Excellent. If Blair reverses a gear on the powertrain, it's <laughs> if you hear the clicking, like when it turns on, you hear. The... <laughs> Thankfully, well, it, there, why I don't know, it you looks are like blazing ahead. Why don't you show everybody where you're at with the build? Okay, yeah, let me put these guys down. So we're right here. I have just sort of put this set down. We've got our suspension in there, and the hub is locked in. And um, now I'm working on, looks like the roof, it looks like. And then that's probably going to go on here. Oh, next. you're significantly ahead. Wow. Hi, beast, Aubrey. Man. How's it going? Welcome. Good to see ya. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Oh, I see what that's doing. Okay, interesting. Uh, so I'm using this awesome little new little panel. These guys so cute. Okay, I'm, cute. I'm actually going to stop and go over look at some details. <clears throat> every now and then <clears throat> I make a connection. I'm like, oh, <clears throat> okay. So those little red mixel balls that we had. I don't know if you can put me on big screen. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah. to slow you down. Um, so those little red missile balls go in there, and I was trying to figure out why, like, because there's all that it's doing is keeping this axle from sliding back that way. It's like a little stopper. Yep. yep. So I'll that definitely be swapping probably, those for the black ones. Yeah, because there was really nothing. These were just sliding around, and there was nothing to hold it in place. And so it's got a connection there with the little ball sticking out on the other side that's, that's just, a jurassic park raptor move clever girl yeah it is <laughs> yeah, just it's awesome. good. And sometimes you get into those places yep. where you, you you need a piece somewhere 
but you can't, it's hard to figure out how to get inside to the other side to like connect, to make connections. And then that's where, that's where you have to come up with clever parts. That's you know, brilliant. when I build Technic for my own mocks, I do a lot of unbuilding. Like I'll build to a certain point, maybe not make everything super tight. Um, and then I have to unbuild and go and change out all those pins for three pin long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm. Or move everything to the left because I need that hole for something. But I, I don't typically get it right the first time. I have to do a lot of like bunny hop with it. How about you? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, especially because I build things digitally, it's another one of those things where maybe, you know, you have a different piece in there. Like maybe, it, you know, if the holes were lined up differently, you would just have a pin in there or something that yeah. was from moving. But then you realize, like, when it comes to assembly, there's no, actually no way to insert a pin, you know? Like, you get into those situations where you're like, oh, I can't actually access to put that part where it needs to go. Oh, and here's another here's another one of those like and I know I'm behind y'all but here's another one of those um, setups where they've given you a long axle that's going to get pushed through a whole bunch mm -hmm. of stuff yep. here on the sides and then now it's going to hold all those floppy yeah. bits. Yep. Well, it's so rigid. <laughs> bits, it does yeah. seem like you'd be able to run this over a really rough terrain. That's wow. the idea. I think I'm going to take it to the beach next weekend and give it a go. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I am. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it, Holly. Because <laughs> what, what damage could sand possibly do to anything involving motors? I know. Oh, no. Fine oh, no. sand, like, salt water. Yeah, like fine grain sand is not a good idea for Technic. <laughs> Now, gravel is fine. <laughs> like out here in Colorado, gravel and all that, that's okay because it's big chunks. But I'm sure, I am sure that Lego put it through the sand test. I'm sure they did. The sand something, test. something grinds my gears. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wish we could run this around in the backyard and have Logan chase it. Oh, no. But he just barks at RC cars nonstop. No, he, like yeah. we got it to wear him out, but he just stands there and barks, barks, barks. Yeah, we actually <laughs> like bought. Because somebody's like, oh, your your dog's got a lot of energy. You should totally, um, you know, just get an RC car and run them around. Yeah, no. No, Skittles is the same way. She's the same way. It just freaks her out. She's not going to do anything about it. <clears throat> well, of course, Logan's not going to chase after and eat it because it's not Mega Constructs. It's Lego. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know that. It's very selective. Now, if you put a Mega Block on it. And then run. Oh, there you go. Then, yes, he would go into hunter killer mode. <laughs> we could put an antenna on it with a little mega block hanging from it, like a. Yeah. Yeah, just like, like an anglerfish. Like... <laughs> anglerfish. <laughs> yeah, guys, I don't. I wouldn't. If anybody else fishing. in the chat gets around to building this, I can't not emphasize enough that any time you put a pin in, you're never putting it in all the way. It only goes in so far before it's going to push through something else later. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's really it's it's really so good. Pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> Your fingers will thank you. Yeah. Oh, now Debo, Debo little, has a great comment. This the only way you can take that out sand if it's driven by Mr. Gold. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so just so you know, I was I just all those floppy pieces just got connected together. Well, for yeah. us anyway. That's what the, I'm talking about. That's where that ball joint's gonna go to keep that yep. from sliding. Um to keep to stop that from sliding around. Oh, and we're about to get our shock absorbers. Yep, I got mine on now. Oh, almost everybody's shocked. Oh, here, Holly, why don't you show that again? And appalled. <laughs> yeah, they're not quite, they're not connected yet. I just I like they're connected here, but they're not connected. I'm assuming they're going to connect. Yep, you're going to run. A, you're, yeah, you're going to run a you're going to run a, one of those long axle pieces through yeah. to join them all together. And then the angles. And no more floppy bits. It's not flopping around anymore. <laughs> Whenever I see this, this I want to so turn cool. it into a critter. Like, you know, like put eyes on it and. Oh, yeah. Well, it's great as you can. You're building basically the core of something that can be changed very easily with the frame around it. And it's yeah. got two more, two more um, motor receivers in the, in the hub. Which oh, I'm no. not sure. You may be able to put sensors in those as well. I would I would need to double check. No, okay, Richard, why, don't you, we, uh, we, uh, why don't you extend the body and add two more shocks and you could have a six-wheeled um, Mars rover. There we go. 
Or a giant insect. Or an insect, yeah. Um, I think our mission's accomplished. Uh -oh. Smoke up, Johnny says he needs this now. <laughs> <laughs> I already kind of wanted it, and now I think I really want it. Yeah, it's pretty. This is pretty cool. I'm well, enjoying it. If you really, really want it, I'll put the link in. The now's a good time to get it. It's pretty cool. Yep. Tell us what you want. What you really, really want. I think I dyslexified this middle piece. First setback. Oh no! It's our it's our moment. It's our it's our chance to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Silly neurodivergent brain. <laughs> Let's hey, fix yeah, this. pay close attention. Don't get lost. Oh gosh! Yeah. Yeah, speed it's building classic. speed building technique has got to be the worst for. A yeah. Challenge. Yeah. I'm. 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 I am. I'm being very cautious because I just know I'm going to screw it up. Well, you know, try building a it bridge. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. Oh no. It's the yeah, same thing I do when I try and jump ahead on system stuff, and like I'm like, this is going to be mirrored, but then yeah, I mirror exactly. it wrong. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it, it's I've been there. Ninety percent of the time, it isn't. It's <laughs> all except for one piece. Well, on this one, it's like it is, but you have to do it in a certain sequence. Mm -hmm. And I just have this one thing that was upside down. Actually, it, what, it probably would have been fine because it's just aesthetic on this piece, but I want it to look right. What what step was it, just so I get a heads up? Um, it was Oops. back here. It was when I put the 45, step 45 through into 46, I somehow had it upside down. Got it. Yeah, I, I was getting confused because there really is a lot of turning in this build and that a it, lot. Yeah. there's yeah. a lot. This this is hard to kind of keep track of what's up and down and and, you know, and every like, turn every turn symbol is one that's like a full atom. It's like a right. this way yeah. and this yeah. way and yeah. it's like woo, right. woo, woo. Yeah. Woo. yeah. Is, is this one where the... Um, Digital instructions would be better, maybe. Maybe. Uh, oh, you mean like 3D instructions? Yeah. Like it could illustrate it a little bit kinder on the, the brain. Ones, I don't know that they have the full 3D ones on here, but I like being able to zoom in. That certainly helps. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and now my, now my mirror is going to work How are you putting down those, uh, those new special pieces? I am, yeah. So this yep. is going to connect. Go. Um. This piece and this piece, which this this pen is like, you can see one stud higher uh, yeah. than here. So this is going to be at a slight at a slight angle there. Yeah. Mm. Uh -oh. One stud makes all the difference. Yeah, one stud off. What's Hashtag going on here with off. <laughs> Debo Bricks says, Yano River Blue is leaving everyone else in the dust. Oh, no. No, he's saying Blair is leaving everyone else in the dust. Yano just <laughs> oh, put it Yano. Oh. I understand. Uh, and he wanted to know what was going on. Wow, Yano's building it, too. <laughs> Yano already built it. You know, Yano can just look at stuff and it comes together. I know it's she's like, yeah. amazing. It's like yeah. Telekinetic. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. If you haven't been, if you yeah, haven't checked too. out her Instagram posts with um the little micro recreations of our studio, it's oh they're awesome. It's yeah. amazing. Okay. So the hub. I do again. This was a tip somebody else. I think it was uh, Tom Elfin or somebody that had highly recommended using these EVL rechargeable batteries for the hubs to make your batteries go a little bit longer because these things just really well, suck the juice out of everything. And Holly, I'm glad you showed that because it's real easy to just open it up and think it only takes three batteries. Six. Double yeah, six. You have to pull six that batteries. out. Double yeah, eight. I had to run and get some supercharged energizers because all my rechargeables are still like too low from all the power outage stuff. Yeah. And I don't know if anybody else, again, my delicate little lady fingers had a very hard time getting getting this open. So I don't know if that was just me, <laughs> but it took me a second to get. To I didn't get think it was nearly as bad as like a power functions one though. Uh, well, you need a screwdriver. Getting the those. getting the batteries in and out of those is like you know, I have to use a brick separator yeah. every time. And I do I do appreciate that, that that there's no screws required to open this. Thank you yeah. so much for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Holly, if you wouldn't mind holding up your build. My build. Yeah. So you know the two pieces you just put on. Um, these guys, the lookers, double set the right angle. Yeah. So yeah. do you know what those kind of represent when it, if it was a real uh, four by four? Oh, I would have no idea. No. 
Yeah, so trucks, Like a part of the chassis, you mean? Yeah, so trucks are different than cars, or the old ones were, in that there's two I-beams, or pretty much like I-beams, that run the length of the vehicle. That's how the vehicle is first constructed, is you weld the two I-beams down, and then you stack the truck on top of those two I-beams. So, <coughs> so it only makes sense that be. this off-road vehicle would, yeah, would have two, two uh, basically elements representative of that I-beam solution that you then start to plug everything on top of. Cool. Now I know something yeah, about cars. A little bit of auto stuff. This is crazy. And again, I know we're behind y'all, but this is just, I can't get over this. Well, all there you this. Go. Business. In fairness, you're doing a lot of screen switching in yeah. between your steps, too. Yes. I'm so again, doing my best. But you're, again, you put these pins in, but then you don't push them all the way down until they go on top of the lift arm, and then you're going to push them down to connect them. Yeah, that, that is the thing with Technic sets is when you look at the pins, um, make sure you don't press them all the way down. You have to look at the diagram very closely. Yeah. yeah. And as always, anytime you're setting a bushing, it helps to have just a little like like thumbnail thickness of space in there. <clears throat> yeah, oh, we have one of those that's for sure. One of those half size uh, yep. lift arms. They're like the half thickness. Mm -hmm. I love those things. Get this one. Go in there. They're just so hard to find. They're hard to come by. Oh no! This one pen won't go in. Uh oh. Here it goes. Well, you know, that, that is one thing about um, about when you have to push those long uh, axles or pins through stuff. The you know you do sometimes have to jiggle pieces a little bit just to make sure they're all aligned exactly properly. What else could I do? With these? Um, I'm so enthralled by watching you guys. I stopped fiddling around with my parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm finally at the part where we're using the Technic superstructure. Okay, and let, me, get... let me get you on the camera first. There so we're go. using this bit, but Whoa. I'm excited because we're finally getting to this cool There you thing. go. Yeah, that's that? Yeah, that? I'm so excited. It's a transmission, I bet. And uh, even my daughter was like, I see an engine. And I was I like, engines, was miniguns, yeah, robot yeah. eyes. Yeah. Super cool. And it looks like you pile, you pile these gears inside of it. So it's going to be super oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, well, that I was on the... Uh, yeah, it's a transmission, basically. Or no, sorry, it's a um, that other uh, thing. Oh, God, the there transmission go. drives into this thing. It's the it allows the wheel and it would be fine for me. <laughs> and then this crazy gear like clicks onto it. Yeah, this is. And the now they're all locked in. Whoa. It's the differential. I'm sorry. I lost differential. The... Yeah, that's the one. Is that oh, right? PT. Yeah, thank you, PT. Man, I've seen I lost multiple my, I lost my earlier, like at least vocabulary. two or three earlier versions of the differential. And this one looks so much more robust. Uh, Blair? Yeah. Does this have the new pins or the old pins? It, it does have new... Uh, oh, I've used a lot of them. Uh, the blue pins have the flat <laughs> like spot. Yeah, and that's new then. That's the the new. black one, too. Yep. Yeah. The black ones are new. But I didn't see a flat spot on the collared double pins that I thought were, that they're making them this way too. And yeah, there's definitely a lot of new stuff, a couple recolors. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I, I didn't even check. I normally look at Brickset and sort the parts by um, like how many sets they're in or. Oh, yeah, this is really tight. Flynn, yeah, Maybe Flynn's getting the uh, Flynn's getting the rails now. Now, oh, yeah. that's what happened. Four Finally, ah, it's tricky. <laughs> We're in the right place. <laughs> right, right. Tricky exactly. brick around to brick around the clock on time. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, <sighs> tricky. tricky. <laughs> well, some we like pins are wanting to hey, get the going on there. Well, you're this little clicky. Oh, is I that's don't not think right. That's, that's not right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. Oh, that's because this thing can move. 
this thing is really I'm sure so oh man, like Ninja with the Bricks or someone, time. someone could redo that song for you guys. <laughs> I wonder if that would put us on YouTube's radar though. Oh yeah, with the run DMC. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like you, that is that when you guys are theory? when you guys are yeah, when you guys are truly famous, you can have run D and and C do it for you. Uh, yeah, I somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I think people would raise an eyebrow, but exactly, you know, you never know. All right, I think parodies see. though for entertainment purposes are okay by YouTube standards for uh, oh not getting taken down. Those only go in part way. Yep, they only okay. ever go on part way. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I get it it enough. <laughs> Finally attaching the dealy bop on here. Do you like my technical terms? Dealy bop. Dealy bop. Yeah. We're full of don't forget about the terms. don't forget about the thingamajigger. Yeah. And the yeah, what's yeah, call it. Call it. And the thingamabob. <clears throat> Those terms make more sense to me than differential and transmission. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. You're lucky I didn't have to use the term <clears throat> helical gear. Oh, of course I did it wrong. <laughs> You missed a blue pin, didn't you? No, I put it on the wrong end. Oh, Lord. I mean, you know, uh, I put it on the top instead of the bottom, whatever. Oh. Wait, how does that actually? Oh, it must go here. Well, no, Lord, wait. Won't you buy me? Right, the button is up. Spins. There. This Ooh, way. More shots. Yay. Uh, no, oh, make sure, make sure you get the side lined up. Like Flynn, you pop the side. You got to line. Oh, karate didn't. That's oh, rigid. Right. <laughs> yeah. See, it's not right. Oh no. Oh. And well, there you go. I the mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, getting real close here. They all gave me a panic attack. Oh my goodness, Moto! Did you really think I would just put it halfway together? Um. Let's see. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Blair, Melissa says. Melissa Mayette says hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm like totally heads down into this. Yeah, he's going. He's in the yeah. zone. Yeah. Well, good thing it's not a contest. He's in the auto zone. Although there will be a prize at the end. There will be a prize. Yeah, prizes. So. Although I know a bunch of the rest of the book is just like FCC warnings and <laughs> jargon and stuff. Yeah. Oh man, here we go. All right. God, get in the don't eat, don't eat the batteries. Crazy the batteries. I have heard someone. I have heard fine. someone say that the controller um, is just one stick that you get X and Y control on that's, one stick. Yeah, that's what I. But since it's powered up, you should be able to program your own separate controller in the sandbox mm -hmm. mode that has different controls that has sure. two sticks or sure. sliders. Mm -hmm. My friend at the Lego store says he's trying to reprogram it to work with a train uh, remote. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Well, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Because there is the powered up train remote. Mm -hmm. so. Which, of and course, I, I could... swapped out to somebody and traded for Cascade last year. So I'll have to get another one. Yeah, I haven't so, got Holly, it. Did yet. you make the chair? Are you, did yes. you put together? Yeah. Okay, someone was asking if this is Technic figure scale, and it is. I a brought large. a large. I brought a driver. We're gonna see if they fit in there. Okay. Cool. It looks cool. a bit large to I've me. I've got I've got yeah. Robo Goat right here. <laughs> Robo Goat. It's pretty big. I mean, it's Robo pretty. Robo Goat pretty is pretty the goat. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. So just to show you guys an example of like oh, where it gets all twisty turny, you know, when you have to go from oh, yeah. wow. the next step and try to figure out like your orientation again. Just like that throughout the whole thing, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, my orientation is like high school all over again. Yeah. You know what? And I put a piece on upside down, I think. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. Second figured. mistake of the stream. Yep. I think it did. No one's dropped a piece on the floor, though. I'm very disappointed. Yeah, I did. Your card is Not yet, but one landed in my good. lap. I was pretty surprised that I hit the floor, though. Luckily, it's not too hard. This isn't too hard to fix. You know, we have we have a carpet in our studio now, and it used to just be a hardwood floor. And so, oh, yeah. if I drop a piece, it stays put. It doesn't go like boinging yep. fifteen feet away. I've dropped oh, yeah. so many pieces that my brain knows by sound like where it where went it and is. how far. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Like, Blair, like, you've got like it. the uh, you've got like the aliens um, motion sensing uh, audio thingy. Bob. <laughs> No, he's the right behind you. The bricks in the ceiling. The bricks in the ceiling. There we go. <laughs> 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 Get in the ceiling. They, they would do it. All right. And then this whole thing goes over here. That'd be oh, hilarious. Motor time. Right. Blair's counting down the distance. The brick is at 20 meters. 15 meters, 10 meters. What, Ooh, what is that piece? I don't recognize Turret B is down to five five oh. rounds. Yeah. There we go. Clicky's, clicky, automated clicky disassembler's down to five clicks left. <laughs> How are we doing on time? 11.20? I feel like... 11.20? Oh, right, yeah. Close. Two minutes. Well, we have more. Yet. We may not finish as fast as Blair's going to finish, but I think we're going to see this. We will this see model this. During we the show. are going to see. We are committed to seeing this completed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yano, Yano. The only technique I had as a kid was one of those competition sets. Those are those are called cyber fighters. In fact, cyber I think I've got fighters. one over here. What? Have the cyber fighters? Is that down here? Uh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, push, push. Oh, I'm gonna need to switch out for it in just a little bit. Okay. What was that? Gosh. What? Here go. How's it coming, Blair? Are you like already there? You're close. Done. I'm pretty close. I'm almost to wheels and panels, nope. but I packed it up. Um. Wow. There's a little. I'm on. I'm in the motor assembly right now. I'm I, impressed. I couldn't help it. I had to cheat and assemble the wheels first thing. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm not the only one who does that. Oh, there goes a pin. Wheels and windows. There you go. <laughs> Piece fell on the ground. Bingo. Moto, there's nothing under cyber you build this on the on the bricklink list. I thought it was cyber fighters, but maybe I'm wrong. Heat slammers? Cyber fighters. Oh, competition. Here's the competition. I, maybe I did a made-up name, in which case that's another bingo. Oh, actually, it's <laughs> the name of set. actual set. So that it's competition, but one was called Cyber Challenge. Mm -hmm. One was called Cyber Strikers, Cyber Stingers, Cyber Master. Okay. Oh, so I did. Right. I made. A, I, I, I munched the. I munched the correct name. Therefore, bingo for the chat. <laughs> Do you, you guys have up. any made-up uh, piece really names for your be. Technic? Any made-up what? You know how we always talk about made-up piece names or the non-official yeah. made-up piece names yeah. for Technic stuff? Oh, uh, yes. I don't think we have as adorable of names for Technic. Like, I talk about two pins and three pins. And oh, wait, Flynn, did you just put a, did you put a three by three? Oh, so no, sorry. This that's done. I was gonna run. Sorry. What was that? I got that. that so that I can drive. Oh, no, there's a new... Um, there's a new Technic piece I call a biscuit that showed up in uh, Spike. That's now in the um, EV4s. But I, did, I was wondering if one would show up in the set. Man, I really want a Spike kit so bad. A Spike kit? Yeah, the Spike looks really cool. kit. Like, I really want one pretty bad. The new EV4 is pretty, com pretty comparable. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... I kind of looked at... They are they are pretty comparable. I just maybe I just like the colors in the spike. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Isagawa, one of my Technic heroes, is has been making really cool stuff with spike. Yeah. yeah. I want to get into it. It's just so crazy. Okay, and then where does it go? Oh no, it's upside down. <clears throat> How did that get upside down again? Stranger Things. Uh -oh. <sighs> I know. It's uh -huh. like I, I fixed yep. it, and I was even paying attention to make sure that that wasn't turned around. It's one of these pieces that, like, you know, it um, it turns, so it's pretty easy for it to get flipped around. It doesn't say which direction it. I mean, it's not this whole thing is pieces there. that turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's kind of true. a thing with Tectic, isn't it? Okay, Let's no. see where you're at, Blair. Since uh, you are... I'm... I'm assembling the first motor. We got this. Oop, this thing's done, and this is still sitting, waiting. No, wait, just waiting, waiting. 
So Alexander twenty three says the triple blue long push pins are called Phillips push pins. I've never heard that before. Oh, mm. I never knew that. Really? Phillips? Never heard of that. I've never heard of a triple pin. Being or is he a making a joke? Pin. Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, is he? Oh, flathead versus Phillips? I don't know. I don't know. We need more information. No, there are so many technic pieces that I don't have names for. I never. Oh, I just gosh, say yeah. you know That's that impossible. ninety degree pin one. Which you know, or like the pin to cross guy. axle type. Yes, one. Doc. Yeah. Yes, Doc. Blair's mustache is very impressive. Oh yes. Okay. Now we're getting yeah. ready to. Oh, we're <laughs> assembling. Oh my I goodness. I feel like we missed like a Salvador of... Dali level. These guys. Yeah, Salvador Dali was my favorite artist when I was growing up. Oh yeah. Does not surprise me. Like this. So did we? Wow! Wasn't there a step with these? I haven't seen that. I mean, maybe I have the to... last azure piece. Wow! This is quite the uh, quite the complicated build. I gotta say, yeah, at least here. for me. No, step it 44. is technical. Yeah, that's okay. the point. White things. Just just putting them on, yeah. right? Right, Flynn? It's fun. Which I don't get. <laughs> What was that? I said, but it's fun, right? Oh no, absolutely. It just it is. I'm. This is why I I'm, I don't usually put together Technic sets because I get very confused. It is very confusing, and I do feel like you know, like I have a, a bit of an engineering drawing background, which must be helpful okay, for okay. deciphering some of the the inside out, upside down, <laughs> turning diagrams. I love it. It's like a. Uh, like a 3D jigsaw puzzle yeah. for me. It Plus, keeps... I learn stuff about mechanics, so I always exactly like yeah keeps keep you on your just toes. to tell you just to tell you how old I am. When we did technical drawing, I had to do it by hand. I was doing it by hand too. That was my engineering drawing, like in school as well. Like everything. Well, I had one. Did they grade you on your lettering? What's that? Did they grade you on your lettering? Um. Because ours was... did. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I don't recall. I don't. Think so because it was kind of like I was going for school for for three D design and so oh, I was right. taking, I was taking three D classes as well so um, it it was more like a it was more like you uh, like an intro kind of like they just wanted mm. to make sure you were exposed to it it wasn't like I was going to be an industrial designer it was just kind of part of the prerequisites yeah we had to. Um... We had to put um, our drawings down on vellum, and then we had to take it to an actual blueprint machine and run the actual blueprint paper through the chemical process. Yeah, no, I didn't. Whoa. Which, which also yeah. meant, did did you do any ruling pens, or was it all pencil? Uh, it was all pencil, and you had to spin the pencil as you and keep it sharp. Yeah, to, as you did the line to keep the line thin as you went. And so, what that meant was that you had to have really, really one great precise control over your line weights or your blueprint would come out mm -hmm. yep. empty <laughs> or well yeah or it um yeah it, anyway we're, we're digressing but yeah there's a whole yeah sorry that it's... that was a rabbit hole well, when it I was. Was, yeah, sorry that was my fault <laughs> we used the mimeograph machine yeah and we liked it okay this doesn't connect right like this hey blair this little which piece you know, the kind of motor looking, what, what did we, differential, whatever. No, I am connecting that now, like way, way later. Okay, so there's nothing holding this here, right? No, it kind of hangs Until loose. the next step. Okay, got it. Because I didn't know, it seems like this axle was supposed to click into something, and there's nothing there to for it to hold on to. Huh. Good thing no, once you click it together, it questions. just sort of waits for the final assembly. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. Okay. What step number are we on? Fifty-seven. There's that other. That other piece. You know, for a Sunday uh, group meeting, one rabbit hole is not that much. Because you guys oh, are so focused on building. I see what happens. Okay. This comes down this swings down to hold it in place where does this go so like this is really this is pretty loose right here but then this thing comes down to everything is so like perfect fit uh, except mine's not fitting for some reason 
Can you imagine um, what kind of look at your you know, right on our look at your lift arms and make sure you put them in the hole that allows it to yeah. swing down yeah. and not the hole that makes it super tight. No, they're swinging down. It just uh, doesn't. If it doesn't swing down all the way, move it to the other hole. There isn't. That's another what happened hole. to me. It, it, I had it in the wrong spot. Interesting. I think maybe you're right. You must be right. Okay. Yeah. Because you can't see it. There's nothing in the diagram that really shows no. you. No. Goes on. Okay. It right. was pretty vague. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. On here. You're was. right. Thanks, Blair. Yep. Same mistake. I think for those of us who are going to buy this is that uh -oh. we can watch yeah, rewatch the video while what we film. What step was it? There you go. <laughs> it's step, step? Um, it's step uh, 67 to 60, 67, oh, or 65 to 69 now. range. So if wow, y'all are like way ahead. We're just like on 60. <laughs> well, Here, I'm going to clear this off so you can. Yeah, motor. Well, every time they want to go and every time they want to get ahead of you guys, they just request that you put them on the full screen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that usually means I'm stopping to explain something too. So you know, there's that. I always like these these dark azure and blue and just other pretty technic pieces. Oh, just azure and just the fact that there's magenta technic panels now. Just right. I know. Yeah. Well, really thank like you. Heart Lake City. Yep. Can you imagine what the uh, what a what a mini doll Technic figure scale would look like? <laughs> Pretty oh weird. <laughs> Very weird. Well, if you wanted to articulate a hands holly in the joints, I that, mean, I take would, it. That yeah, would, that'd weird. be the right scale. <clears throat> They'd be better off. <laughs> it probably it probably wind up like Jack Stone, actually. It, yeah, I know. That's kind of what I'm imagining. <laughs> what do they call those? Like the four square or something. So if y'all are in this in the sixties, just for the chat to know, there are 128 total steps. Oh, good. I'm at one of three, so I think I'm going to make it. Oh, this is one of those attachments you could get into now. This one I'm making right here. Yeah, there you go. Where um, you could That's get it one. permanently if you couldn't pull this out. This would be permanently in there forever. Yeah. Hmm. All right, That's friends, um, while we are in this mid area, we are going to, I'm going to start setting up the wheel. So if you wow. like an okay. opportunity to win this set that we are putting together right now, which is the Technic Off-Road Buggy. Um, the amazing Technic Off-Road Buggy. It's very cool. Technic yeah. off -road buggy. And again, this is for U.S. residents only. I'm sorry, but that's uh, uh, the only way we can do it right now. But... Um, we are going to be giving this away, so now is the time to get in the chat, say hello, get your name on that list, so that uh, we can blow that chat that up. Blow that chat up, guys. Blow that chat up. If you're not a U.S. resident, use the affiliate link if you want it, because that'll help Tricky uh, Love get the money. Yeah, it's, it's Unfortunately, <laughs> we do not have affiliate links um, for other. Oh right, there's no like affiliate that. link for the international either. That's a bummer, because then those people could help get the funds to get the shipping yeah, to the international. I they said that that it was. It, they said it was supposed to work, but I don't know if we ever got that confirmed yeah we hadn't gotten that message. what if like eventually like if you're in the discord there is i i set up a, a actually a channel just for affiliate links for this so well and this is all brand new right it's being yeah being, yeah oh geez fabby fan k you broke my head i was just gonna say that i'm trying to picture this whole thing uh, well, I've, got well i've got mini dolls here we go yay differential <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna turn my camera off. I'm gonna go get my Technic figures, and then I'm gonna okay. go. Out okay. And <clears throat> I messed up. Darn it! <laughs> is that right? This is the what's going on there. Oh, I just used the wrong, um, the wrong black pens. I thought that they were the ones with the axle, and they were just the standard. Got it. So I got it. Okay, wow, guys, there's, there's a I lot have to, going on I have to quickly camera. go to a Bricks by the Bay meeting for a few minutes. But I'll still yeah. be in the chat. Know, the we might on. still be here. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, so Brian is here. How's it going, Brian? Welcome. I'll still be in the chat. I'm 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 if you're still putting here. those names into, into our uh, okay. here. 
Hey, Flynn, will you... Uh, I charge it to 100% just before So I got the differential the in here, down, but it's and it's got five screaming. gears inside it, five 90-degree angle gears. Yes. Can we go back to showing... Yeah. Where these pens are supposed to go? Then, okay, so I'm going to go back down here. There. Oh, right. Make sure everything's pushed in just the right amount. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, God. Where am I? <laughs> okay, does that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So frustrating. Again. Uh, when, when I had to go back and fix it, I got completely turned around. Okay. I know. Heaven forbid you like <laughs> forget what step it was on. There's so. Oh, yeah, the one with the pins. Holy moly! I don't know what I have. What has happened here? I keep putting the pens in the wrong place. Apparently. What? Oh, oh, they don't. Okay, I see. There's no pens actually between there. Darn it! How's it going, Blair? Uh, I am really, really close. I'm gonna have to jump off in a minute to switch over to my daughter's tablet so that oh, and that's the I can. Time to do the wheel. Just give me a minute because it's doing that thing again where it's not um, putting the, the spaces in or something putting spaces in and it's yeah stream labs are killing me i'm just saying i will say though i actually am more successful fixing things like taking things apart in this model than usual and i don't know if that has anything to do with mm -hmm. different pins you know i think it is they're they're pretty easy to undo yeah they are cool. i think they seem less sticky the plastic yeah. is almost you know it slides easier yeah someone in the chat was saying they don't click as much and they de definitely have as le less clutch the new yeah design does. so it's much easier to fix except for this stupid thing right here this one this one is getting me now <laughs> my my used to be favorite part. Ooh. that uh -oh. one doesn't make them out there ah oh. Melmick just had an accident. Oh, and then, oh. There we go. Okay. Oh, two times. I totally pulled a moto on that. Okay. Third time's so, the charm. So, guys, hear what was mentioned in the chat. Okay. <clears throat> You're going to take a mini doll head. <laughs> oh, no. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> we're going to put an inkwell on top of it. <laughs> then we're going to use a Fabuland Nick to translate it into a Technic figure. Okay. That makes sense. I don't, I, I don't know how that makes sense. I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I can see it in my head, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm also sure putting this there. thing together. Oh. Oops. Hey, well, they don't say where they go. Eight, well, there's no, there's no steering wheel, but this definitely fits RoboGoat. So, Fabi Fan MK, how do you get the, the head off this joint? All right, everybody. I'm afraid that we're just going to have to do this with a half full wheel. If we have to spin it again, we got to spin it again. I can't fix the internet. Unfortunately. <laughs> I am not here to fix the internet's shortcomings. And the internet is not yours to fix. Um, okay. So um, we do a half one. It's a half a one. I mean, uh, if we have to spin it twice, we got to spin it twice. That's how it goes. I think that's just great. Oh, that dog. A couple of steps here right. that are some guesswork. Here uh, we go. We are going to I love it. Wheel. <laughs> While this spins, I'm going to jump off because my battery is also really low on the phone. So I'll be right back oh, with it's landing on, 100%. It's landing on a red color. Red blink. I was actually going to call red. I was definitely going to call uh, green. Blue. Oh, come on. Not again. Blue. Ah, oh. oh, we were all wrong. This, oh, is, really, this is making me sad. No, it's okay. Look, it's, it's going to be fine. Times. I mean, we're busy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yellow. No, we don't time. believe this. This we is have ridiculous. Time. Wow. This is ridiculous. It was, wow, this is like from the beginning. This is. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here no we go. Way. Here we go. Oh my gosh, oh, who is it? Oh, oh yeah, Barry. Monica wow. Burry. Okay, now I gotta say, this is wow. This is exciting. So there we go, Monica Berry. Hooray! It, it is a um, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. 
Wow. I think you can have a lot of fun chick. putting this together. It was like and you know what? I'm a total off. convert on these new pins. Yeah. I'm I think it. it does make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. But Congratulations, Monica. Congrats. Glenn, I'm missing a piece here. Two of them. Oh, oh yeah. I'm doing, it's I'm doing a one by three lip farm with so, an attached thing. With an attached thing. I apologize, thing. guys. What was that? Fabu Fan MKE, how do you get the, the neck off the head for what you were talking about? Yes. I, I am trying my best to separate three, this. Four of these, one by three left arms. The neck off of a, of a friend's head? No, the neck off of a Fabuland head. Oh. They were all in one container. So maybe yeah. that's not what they meant. All oh, the pliers. Here. No, ah. come on, Debo, no. Oh, there's a whole other container. Yeah, these are all. This is seriously insane. okay. Fine. You sure there's nothing I'm gonna do else it. in there? There you go. Here's a hemostat. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's dissecting his fabuling character, y'all. Yep. Oh, this is no. Fab Max. Not anymore. Well, we seem to be missing some things. There. Yeah. There's a there's a one by three lift arm that has an axle connector at 90 degrees on it in step 74 and. I just don't see that. I mean, four of them? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys just do the same thing I did? Oh, did, did we? What happened? I think you did. Did you use, did you use those um, the, the one by threes instead of the, the one by two in, in, like on top of these gray lift arms? Can you hold up to the camera a little better? Well, I've already assembled on top of them, so it, you can't really Oh, well, I haven't. See where we are? Like, I need to put those lift arms on there. I don't have anything okay. on it Okay, so those, those pins that are sticking out, are those one by twos or one by threes? Those are, pins. They're, one, they're just too long. Oh, okay, all right. Because I had, I had, I thought you were missing the one by threes, and that's what had happened to me, is I was missing one by threes, and I realized I had used them right there with the one by two. Oh, no, uh, no, we're missing this thing. The piece that goes on there, that. I can't see it, because oh, you're not on whoops. camera. <laughs> Sorry, that thing. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just put those on. How funny. I wonder. Well, we have Technic. Yeah, I just wonder if we um, put them somewhere they weren't supposed to be. I know. Oh, somewhere else in the mall. Yeah, but you'd maybe. think that there would be a one by, like, you know, one by three lift arms left. Because, like, we used those by accident. But I don't know. It's just going to take me. Oh, here, look. We got it. <laughs> go into the parts bin. <laughs> what was that? I can't, you can always go into the parts bin. That's something that everybody. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well, I see that in, in gray, not in black. Okay. Yeah, it's this piece, this little this little piece. How many do we need? Six? Four. Four. Well, I look and you can keep putting you can uh, there we go. together. Another one. All right. Does it matter which way this goes? I guess. Of not. course, that worries me because I feel like now we're gonna find it. We put something in the wrong place. That's usually what happens. And then it's not gonna work. Well, I wonder if I'm redoing a step or something. Because now I don't see the pin to axe. Oh, there they are. Ha ha ha. Can't foil me. Okay, this is just for Fabby Phantom KE. I won't <laughs> use pliers, but. Oh my God. Let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, I can only do one more. Thing. We'll just use a gray one. It's fine. That seems so weird. Nope. Doesn't it? Like the fact that four of them are missing is not, <laughs> it doesn't bode well. <laughs> I just feel like they maybe got put somewhere else. That is bizarre. Ah, ah great. Look at that. Who can say? It's a crazy world. Here. You know, if the worst thing that happened is we had to put a different uh, color one on, I think we're doing all right. Oh, okay. So now I make two of these guys. We oh, Blair's back. Cool. All right, Blair. Hey, Hi again. Just charging the phone, putting the wheels on here. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. So just so uh, just so everybody knows, here I'm gonna 
put put us uh, back up here so people can see our smiling face. We actually do still exist. We're not just voices. So uh, wow. just so you know, we are going to be building some other, we're going to be building other models. If you weren't here the other day and saw, we've got some mosaics that we're going to be putting together. Um, a very exciting, um, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday, we're going to be building the Friends Andrea's house, which is a great model. And Holly, why don't you tell us about uh, who's going to be here with us? I do believe we have J Mr. Joel Baker slated to join us for some of our uh, informational and education or informational, educational, and entertaining Oops. experience. Yeah. Well, so he's but he designs for Friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. He's yes, he's a set designer in the on the Friends team. Yeah, so he des he designs for Friends. He's going to be here, uh, hanging out and talking to us. Now, this Wednesday, we are actually going to be pulling out that the uh, tra uh, tra I'm going to say it right, Trafford Manchester United Stadium set. I have no doubt that we will finish it while the show is still on. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Huge set. Promises, promises. Um, and we're going to talk about how we're going to, how, how actually with the, um, how we're going to figure that out. But here's an exciting thing. No, that's right. Okay. Sorry, Old Trafford. Oh my goodness. I'm in, I'm in trouble. Every time I say the name of the set, I'm just going to stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll add it to the script. Huh. Um, Anyway, the um, the so just like we just okay. did, we actually have a copy of the old Trafford. No Manchester way! There you go. Stadium to give away. We will be giving it away on the show on Wednesday, and um, and the next uh, Sunday we will be continue putting that uh, set together. So that's gonna be fun, and then in a couple of weeks. We are going to have from Lego Masters, Corey and Mel are going to be on the on the Sunday show with us, uh, building the. Um, they're going to be building the Iron Man mosaics. We're going to be building the Hogwarts house mosaics, and we're going to have a nice uh, chat about mosaics. And I think we're even going to add in a little bit of a. Um, I think the uh, we might do a mosaic challenge that week to kind of tie it in with that. So oh, I need to um, other things. So there I you go. Haven't done mosaics in a while. What was that? We haven't we haven't done a mosaics challenge in a while. Well, right? we haven't done our first challenge was a mosaic challenge, so it's been almost a year. Oh, wow. Um. So Blair, let's see. Uh. What? Let's see where you're at. This is where I'm at. Oh. oh. It had to wait until it was connected to the to the car, and so it's making these pretty colors. You can see Roboco is crammed in there. Is this go buggy. Booty pushes the, the go button. Wow, <laughs> look robot. at that thing. <clears throat> so Hopefully it it's all set up face. right. Does everyone else's back axles spin freely? Is that going to change? Sure. When it, it, we have the wheels on. Yeah, we don't yeah, that's what the <laughs> That's what the differential's for. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I don't think I missed something there, but it's so beautiful. I really wanted to highlight, well, it's halfway done here, just this little assembly. Mm -hmm going on the side makes such a beautiful scoop there. Oh, very nice. It's so slick looking. So we're still about 75% of the way there. And um, yeah, I'll see if I can point a camera at the ground and give this thing a, a spin as soon as it's up and, and running. I have an update awesome. for Fabby Fan MKE. What was that? I do, I do have that figure. Oh, jeez. All right. But it doesn't work. Oh, that... oh my god. Oh. It doesn't work, unfortunately, because the inkwell does not um, clutch into the uh, it doesn't Fabuland uh, neck. Oh, is, that is the stuff of nightmares. Wow. wow. That, I'm glad you tried that. <laughs> nope, those were the leftover parts. Well, at a distance, she looks like, like a singer from a goth metal band. No, you're right. Okay, so Blair, I'm at the differential assembly now where I've just connected those two gears together and it's yeah. it's it's stiff. So yeah, they would not they would not rotate freely because this gear is hitting that little No no the gear doesn't the gear doesn't, but the wheels do. Like your axle's coming out. 
where okay. on the sides. Okay. Do those spin like the gray axle there? I haven't gotten that really? far, so I don't know. No, it's you have it. It's sticking out. Oh, I think. I don't know. Let's see. We're like two percent away. Let's check it out. Two percent. We're updated. Push the button. Oh, this is exciting. Connecting. Connecting. Connected. Let's set up your model. Calibrating. Oh, oh it's steering. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Calibrating. Oh, here we're way up here. Complete. Visit the mechanic when maintenance is needed. Let's learn how to operate the RC buggy. Don't put it on a desk between plants and stuff. <laughs> you know, where you just lay so, your shoes. So it's Apparently, not a they, cat. The, the, the target <laughs> audience is, is shoe collectors. Don't use your buggy as a cat. Okay. Does, does it, a does it see... to control throttle. Hey, Blair, does it say anything about operating it in sand? Uh, it hasn't Don't yet, but... do it. It has a scared face. No, my back differential is spinning freely, so I did okay. something oh, wrong. Oh, no. you know what I bet it is? I think I can get in there and fix it. I bet I reversed the tan gears, so give me just a moment here. And folks, just one more time. I, I try not to, I'm not going to spam the chat with this. Just this last time. Whoop. Well, that's going to be a fun one. Oh, goodness. Affiliate link. Affiliate link. Yeah, I was trying to find it, and I I don't have it. With I, I'm going to have to go get it. Hold on. Well, I've restored my Fabulous figure with um, various rippy marks around the plastic. Oh, uh, that's a relief. Mm -hmm. I love tearing yeah. apart. That was a fun. That was a models. fun little exercise. Okay, that's turning. There we go. Thank you, Fabby Fanta, for at least trying that out. One more time. There's that affiliate link for you. Oh, yeah. Um, also, if you are a member of our Discord, it's listed on the, on the Discord server, and also I'll be posting something about it up on the um, the website. And how good is that link for? How long is that link good for? Assumedly until it's not a thing anymore, until it's that's not available anymore. I don't think they cut it off, or they're going to cut it off afterwards. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, I know Dear, the other one. In a few weeks. Dear people of the future watching this in 2055, please. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you can download a 3D print sets. Moray, we have asked for links for Euro and the rest of the world. That is, um, we've already done that. The ball is in their court right now on that, uh, with that. So we'll see. We're, we're doing our best for sure. Oh, yeah, I made a big no-no. My dyslexia uh -oh. got the better of me uh -oh. when I put those. Well, I think it was that I was showing off the differential or whatever, and then I slid yeah. the gears in, Let but me I guess, wasn't you, paying you enough You plopped them in backwards. Oh, yep, awesome. that's why the, I was spinning um, freely. The, uh, the, the Hornburgers ordered Andrea's house, so hopefully we'll arrive in time for the live oh. build. Ooh, a couple yeah. weeks, so I think this could be all right. Hopefully yeah. we'll here. Yeah, definitely oh, that's nice. I'm so looking forward to Andrea's house. Me too. I'm very, yeah. I'm very excited about that. So one. many yummy parts cute. in that. So many what? So, so many yummy parts. Yeah, there are. Yummy. And the mini figs are so good. Yeah, the mini figs are great too. Let's get the mini fig and the micro figs. See, we run the gamut here. Friends to Technic to sports yeah. stadiums. We yeah. do it all. Uh huh. <laughs> We're trying anyway. <laughs> Thankfully, it's. Reversible. See you later. If you want an invitation to the Discord, you can email me, Flynn at trickybricks.com, and I will send you a link uh, invitation to the Discord server. Here. Okay, here we're going to go. Uh oh. Wow, that is some complicated business. Got it. Got it. There we go. All right. Which way were they supposed what? to go in? What? Wait, no. Wait, I got something. What's going on here? This is upside down. Yes. There. Look at that. We're going to go gears, meshing the gears. <laughs> and they mesh their horrible gears. 
Nash, they're horrible teeth. <laughs> okay, so, so speaking of teeth, 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 teeth oh go God. inwards. Does this connect? Right? <clears throat> yeah, teeth normally yeah. do go inwards. Oh, and now I'm going to lock <laughs> it in. <laughs> the it must have done teeth outwards. Let's check oh. it out. Oh, that poor creature. Well, it just didn't do anything, so it's not like that. But... Yeah, yeah, normally a differential will um, he'll direct the torque to the wheel that needs it. Parts for me, please. Yeah. Okay. I'm at the step where I have to connect these two things. Oh boy. Where are you at? Oops. I'm on step um, 94. Thankfully, having done a lot of camera here, sorry, I need I another of these little guys. Taking things apart. I do not see so my terrible. This oh, pretty well versed in getting this half. stuff back together here. There's nothing to connect though. No, it's starting to get a little crazy here. <laughs> oh, <I need> <laughs> starting. I must yeah, be as missing. if it wasn't already. It's been so crazy that I've barely drunk coffee this entire time. Oh god, you're right, my coffee's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you do, yeah, don't screw that up. So engaging you'll forget your coffee. Yeah. Holy, okay, so I missed something somewhere. There's nothing. Yeah, I'm going to pull this. pieces for you. Let me bring these over here. Uh, I guess. Tell me which side is right side up <laughs> and which side is right side back. I don't know. I don't know. Well, There's no, the, so screen. the transmission's on the bottom, Holly. So it's just yeah, I mean, this little red yeah, gear is kind of an indicator. This yeah, red gear different. and this that, red axle are like. To be another thing. Yeah. The giant red axle? Hmm? The giant oh. red axle and the gears go bottom. Yeah, oh, but I'm trying to figure there. out where because I don't have anything for my shots to connect to. Okay, Lisa is right. You said this was for ten and up. That's what it says. Do you, do you guys know Dream <laughs> Dynamic? Ten year old could do it. Uh, do you know guys know Dream Dynamic? Uh, Dream Dynamic TV. Yeah, he's awesome. This I stream is super buggy. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh sweet. There you go. Well done. Yay, well done. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's a feature. Uh, yes. That's the last yes. thing, too. I missed a little Oh. There. I'm supposed to put bushings. You need another red double bushing in step 97. I don't see anything. One more time. Oh, it's a filler, so they're filling up their axles with. What was that song that you were just singing, Blair? It's from Trolls. One more time. Oh, that is the okay. freaking piece. Yeah. Wow. You have you have a child. Wow. <laughs> you know what? It's for ten Absolutely. and up. And I want to know how many ten year olds are making their parents finish this. <laughs> All of them. Yes. I was gonna say this, this says more about the state of ten year olds these days than anything. Maybe. Because I have a nine year old, right. and I don't think he would last this long. You know. Well, I mean, I gotta say, I had some really, really clever kids when I was teaching, but this is this is not easy. Like this is some complicated, fiddly work, you know. I'm just missing a connection on one side. Yeah. Okay, so this goes. So this clearly goes. No, I'm gonna a little turn pin, it. a little blue pin, right there. Uh huh. But clearly, side. one of these goes into, but there's nothing on the other side. Did For you this. have that problem, Blair? I'm sure he did not. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! How did we catch up to you, Holly? We're like in the Is same it, place you are. Where's this? So because I've been sitting here trying to fiddle, figure this out for like five minutes. Is okay, it coming up in the, in the next one. couple of steps? We've got. This no, is up like I this. I can't see that Why part in any of the other right? instructions. No, sure. So. This is um, because when every for every step you go back, the like it's like okay, in a different. Here's the white things back here. Wait, what's... Different instructions. Because oh. when you try to go back a step, like every step is turned a different way. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. Is this figuring out how is this going to orient? Wow. And I'm in it. So when oh, I try to go back look. and figure out what it connects to. I got it. Look. So what I'm hearing is when you get this set, you put this. Make sure no, you have caffeine on hand and you. no distractions. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. No tech. Wait, wait, wait. What you don't want to. You don't want to mess with. You take your time. I seriously cannot see that side, no. that side of the build in any. Oh, direction. wait a minute. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to put a pen here. We're going to go on these things. 
Ollie's going rogue. Not, not on there. I'm just putting a pin there because I'm pretty I'm sure, sure that's what it is. On these. Oh. What? I think I'm going to have to go back oh, like, and get that kind of diagram. There. So yes, this is where 3D instructions would be helpful, the digital instructions. Yeah, you're missing a bunch of, you're missing Take me off um, slide, spotlight now. Oh my gosh, okay. Where are you on, no. Holly? Okay, I figured it out. No, I've got there's that. A, oh, I see that. Just a pen. Here, there's a pen <laughs> in there. A black pen. It is troubleshooting chaos on the screen. I know. <laughs> look at it. Well, I had no idea that there would be so Blair, many gears on inside this differential. Yeah, put Blair on the screen. Let Holly stop sweating her. her... I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Hey, Blair. I know. So if you do it, don't forget there's a gear that goes on the top and it slides in the slot underneath. Oh, yeah. And that is yeah, why four, nothing was spinning. Four gears. Four gears I knew back. something was wrong earlier, but no matter what, I would have had to tear it all apart at this point. Will you show that again, Blair? Is it? Are you at a place where you can do that? Yeah. Let me let me just hold up the instructions, which I should have looked at instead of sharing how excited I was about that piece. <laughs> it's like the one thing I didn't pay attention to is ugh, this. No, oh, no, I'm missing a black axle. No. So I didn't have enough of those tan gears in there oh so i had to rip it, it all okay. open but thankfully like i said i've done a lot of this with my last technic build ripping things open and putting things back together and that's the great thing about technic is there's a lot of flex to it so yeah you can really we can really work with that okay all right so we have we got this is where we're at <sighs> so this is saying to push these in now now it's in, in? in step 102 it says push them in all right, mm -hmm. come in. Very good. I think. I'm missing. Yes, yep. So we've got our So the spring things, Holly, fit into, there's this? Yeah, there we go. yeah, there we go. yeah. And then on the other side, it's a, it's different. It's a, it yeah. fits into this white thing. Yeah, so, but so one's, one's connected to a blue pen and one's connected to the, a black pen, is that correct? Correct. I think okay. so. Exactly right. Right. I never saw the step that said add the black pin. I just saw it done. So I was like, oh, I must have missed it. Well, I'm missing an axle. <laughs> I have to go into my, I have to go into my set to find an axle because I obviously used an axle in the wrong suit. I heard that, Moto. <laughs> I see. I told you. Child's play, says Moto. I'm glad we have the uh, ringside commentators for this. It, it's it's ten and up. <laughs> I want to meet these wow. ten year olds. Sweaty. Yeah, we are these ten year olds. Well, the pro yeah, I mean, so my my son is eight and a half, and he did he did a ten. He did a ten plus Technic set, but the problem he ran into his fingers were not strong enough. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. I don't see yeah, this. Yeah, that's I did find that when I was when I was teaching the kids that there was a lot of times they had the like the brain power to do the project. Yeah. But they didn't always have the manual dexterity part down. Right. Exactly yeah, right. for him. He had a really uh, some of the um, yeah. you guys know this when you when you jam some of the axles through multiple friction uh, locations, uh -huh. you have to have you know enough strength to do it, and that's where yeah. he where out was the yeah. Yeah. strength. His hands were not strong. Yeah, the, the trick I usually use it. is just to if you if you can get it at an angle where you can push it against like a hard surface. That's usually exactly. The there. Yeah, I tried to show him the the clicky jam. There you go, that too. Which is yeah. you know use the whole hand yeah. and then turn the clicky and, and again. ram it, but yeah. it's still it was it was too hard for him. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. Okay. Like, he was sharp enough to do it, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see this being a breeze for a ten year old. For oh. sure. Is this supposed to be pushed in like that? Look, it's all like well, yeah. it's clearly not a breeze for all of your ages. No. <laughs> <laughs> you hush. Are you sure the roll Oh, I'm sure it's gonna not right? be a breeze for me either. So oh, you know no, I'm missing two of those axles. What? How is that possible? Now see I Hey was... Blair, when you look down from the top of your model, does your windscreen taper in? I wonder like or is it straight. Hmm. Because uh, ours tapers in and it seems stressed to me. Tapering. Okay. Um, no, mine's pretty parallel to the base. Uh oh. But you know, uh -oh. don't take my word for me having <laughs> done it right, apparently. No, I know. Yeah, Technic usually doesn't camber intentionally yeah. in sets. 
Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think it's because... Yeah, you're, you're brick bending at this point. Um, That's what I thought. That's kind of bad for okay. this, y'all. So it goes the other way. They're the last brick bending. It wasn't the way. So Star Wars oh, that way. I understand. Step one, reasoning with the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> step two, well, no, bargaining. Step, step one is denial. I didn't write, I didn't do it wrongly. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. Well, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> there you go. It's not my fault that it's not put together correctly. I'm missing. I don't pieces. know. I thought the well, other. I thought the way I had it on looked kind of cool. Because I. <laughs> it did. It did look good. Holly, we'll well, and then let's go back to step ninety-eight, days, right? What? What I thought that piece looked so cool that I did the whole thing wrong. Like, the black pin you're looking for is is on step ninety-eight. Where are we looking? Step 106. What? Mm -hmm. No. What do you claim that you are missing? We're doing a little side pieces now. 98. How's it coming, Blair? Oh, but. Uh, you yeah. know, still. No, I used the right. They said something about the mechanic. There. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It'll work out. It's fine. We're just going to roll with it. Where's that big? Oh, you've already got the piece. You guys are that. scrambling like <laughs> solo in the detention center. Like, it's fine here. It, everything situation nominal. Just a, how are you? Boring instructions anyway. <laughs> yeah. Phew. We're so close. Get ready, kid. We're gonna have some building visitors. <laughs> the Lego designers in the chat are just like, mm -mm, no, uh, never no. mind. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are supposed to sell the model, not... And Ramsden was eerily silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I was just trying to get it there so that we could drive it, but don't yeah. rush it. Yeah, I think... Oh, oh, it's oh, noon. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh man, we failed. We failed. Who belt who? <laughs> I think oh, I'm you. unfortunately saddled with one Anybody of those un still undoable. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> a what? We didn't think we were going to be building well, this here. for six we, hours. We just had a slight pin malfunction. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> there aren't any pins on that level. <laughs> there we go. Well, it's very colorful. It is very colorful. I do like the colors. <laughs> Come on, pins. Get that <laughs> in there. I just feel I just feel better knowing. Aren't there. you a little short for a Technic panel? There you go. <laughs> oh man! Wow, uh, Moto. Y'all may have destroyed Smoke Up Johnny's desire for this. <laughs> oh, we had him. We had him on the hook, and then he he managed to wiggle free. Can you tell how much fun? He wiggled free. I'm I'm totally. I'm definitely gonna buy this. This looks like so okay, much fun. It is. Oh it's, really good. it's a it's a it's a brain teaser. It keeps you. It's not fun. not fun, but yeah, you got to be prepared. Like this isn't just like easy carefree building. This no, is, no, and, this isn't. And you know. If you're not streaming live in front of a bunch of people, <laughs> it's probably kind of less stressful. Exactly. Rick one says if we hit 12.15, we should get another Logan cookie time. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I think we all need a Logan cookie time. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh I'm just going to blame Skittles for my like lack of attention because she's the one that kept me up all night. Oh, no, sure. Blame the dog. The classic. What was she doing? Classic. It's her fault. What was she doing oh, that kept are you, you up? Plugging in the we have my, today's my daughter's yeah, birthday. I oh, know. Birthday. So, oh, that's right. Happy, yeah. happy birthday. Happy birthday. She can hear you. She can hear you all. Um, so it's her birthday, and she had one of her best friends over that she hasn't seen in like six months. And you know oh, how okay. excited Skittles gets when we have company. I yeah. don't know what you're talking about. I still yeah. don't have the stars <laughs> to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> So she really wanted to see her friend. Like we would not allow her into the because she slept in the same like pull out bed that you guys stayed in. And yep, yeah. She wanted to come down and visit, and I just she was not having it that we would not allow it. So all night she was whimpering all night. Skittles oh yeah, we, we yes we experienced we yeah. experienced that. Oh, yeah. but Skittles. Uh, man, the chat is sending happy birthday wishes as well. Oh, oh. happy birthday. Oh. Okay, what step are you on? Come on, Clicky, don't fail me now. 
Oh man. It goes like this. Blair, you're resorting to clicking on Technic? Well, it's one of those irreversible, not irreversible <laughs> connections there you go. that I have to like repair. And there you go, Blair. folks. It's coming together. Y'all are so close. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, here I see. we go. Here we go. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. Holly's zoning in too. Holly's nearly there. I am. The problem is now they they show in the instructions you put the panel on like in the same step that you connect it, and I just realized I should have connected this before I put the panel on. Oh, well, I gotta say, I'm just I'm excited that we caught up somehow. Because I keep screwing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's uh it's failures. It's it's, yeah. uh, it's just failures. What? Wow, Moto, harsh. No, I mean, it's the same. I was going to say. It's my failure. No, I, I was going to say it's a lot like, uh, so to bring this back to automotive, in a car race, the cars that win are the ones that don't break down. Because that's how you lose. That's how you lose a car race is by breaking down. You lose time and then you get lapped. Oh, I see what's happening. This is fast. So when I was, when I was on a solar car or solar powered vehicle racing team, you know, there's wait, always. Wait, 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 rewind a when second. When you're on? Wait, what is this, Moto? What is this other thing that you do that we didn't know about? Oh yeah, in college. Yeah, in college, I was in the, I was on the University of Michigan solar car racing team. Of course you were. Yeah. Of course you were, because why not? Yeah. So no, the big the big thing. So this is in the uh, this is in the nineties, and they still do the racing today. It's, it's spelled R A Y C I N G racing. There you go. Fixed. What is it? Um, but yeah, the big thing with a solar powered vehicle is that, you know, you don't get a lot of electricity from the solar cells and you have, you have to, you want to reduce the weight of the vehicle, but at the same time, you don't want it to ever break down. So it's this real balance of trying to, you know, make sure it's strong enough to complete the race. But at the same time, you've got to reduce weight because you're, you're basically running an entire car off of the power from a hair dryer. Oh, wow. All right. 800 Watts is the most you get. 600 watts for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think I got it all back. He was in formula yeah, racing. Right oh, uni. Chalice. Well, there, okay, can I just say, there's a sticker inside the rim of the wheel. No way. Well, no. Yes. No. I love this suspension. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. They got oh, my there. God, there is. Front independent suspension. Yep. Rear suspension. Yep. I'm about to bring that app up and let's see if we can make it work. Yeah. It's going to need to be updated though. Updating, updating. <laughs> RC buggy. That looks like fun. Slow and steady wins the race. No kidding. All right. Wow. I was going to say that, that there's a tortoise in the hair thing well, going on here. But yep, there's two definitely. of us. As well. All right. I'm pressing the button on the hub. That's true. There are two of you. There are two of us. Okay. There we go. Yeah. You could have messed up twice as much. So you did. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the hub. Two minds. Nice. Oh, it looks do. like Blair's no, nearly there too. Press it a little bit. Oh, oh I'm there. You guys I are almost. Oh, it's deep not technic surgery. Now. It was fine before. There you go. It also helps yeah. when you, as you eliminate Country parts. Canoe. You know, when you only have so many parts to pick from, too, yeah. it goes a little bit faster. But it totally, uh, I don't know if our batteries are totally charged up. The hub uh -oh. came on earlier. But we just pressed the button to start the hub, and uh, it didn't come on. Oh, but I did not put that, He's got it working. That is pretty. Yay. That is pretty. That's pretty off road, I gotta say. Oh wow! The controls are. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh. oh, oh! There we go, Blair. Yeah, let me turn it back around. Ugh. Put it further back, back Blair. We can, oh, there you go. Yeah. Here, let me. You know what? Let me. Let me put this on. The, I'm just gonna put this on the bed here. You're gonna drive over the camera. Yeah. Mad Max it, man. Hit the camera. Wow. Oh wow. That's super fun. Boom. There you go. Oh hi. <laughs> uh oh. Hi. <laughs> oh yay. Oh that's fun. Look at awesome. that. The controls are so very cool. strange. Because, yeah, it is all one stick, so it's like... It's a virtual stick. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I was. That's what I had heard. So I'm curious, what's your take on that? Uh, it'll be cool once I get outside, but it feels like taking... It's going to take a bit of getting used to, kind of like flying a drone. <clears throat> it's like the reverse. It's like, instead of having... Instead of having too, like, too much to think about, it's like, 
it's all centralized in this one stick. So forward <laughs> and left, right are Very all cool. together here. Hmm. Yeah, we the only thing but is it's keeping super us responsive. From, the only thing's Good. keeping us from going now is, of course, we've got the same thing Blair have has updating the firmware. Ah. Oh. See the green yeah. bar <laughs> updating, <laughs> updating, <laughs> updating. Like, but, but we got it together. That's awesome. And you, know, our, you guys, you guys always got it together. Yeah. Every show you've got it together. Yeah. So pretty cool. I gotta say, like, it wasn't cool. the easiest build. And again, I really do feel like if if it had just been like I'm focusing on building this, I wouldn't have found it quite so difficult but, well um, it is holly you make a good point that this more than some models this had a lot of 3d spatial orientation yeah yeah re really did. required and and, and that was, that's what when i messed up i messed up in the worst spot because like i said it's like you had like you try to go back and see like what part like you if you miss putting that part in there you try to go back a few steps and then you realize it was like 30 steps ago before you even saw that side of the car yeah so, no, I wow. messed up in the worst spot. I was just too excited about that piece, and I didn't even put the all the gears in it. <laughs> right. Look at that thing bounce. That's 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 doing, doing surgery in this part was super not ideal, and I think no. I, I now have some extra pieces left over. But I got it all back together, and <laughs> yeah, it's super yeah. super cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Again, really cool. thankfully, I'm used That's to doing point. it. I used the wrong axles somewhere. I used I must have used oh, my right. black axles instead of these. That's that's so typical of a car repair job. He's got like pieces left over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ours <laughs> going now. It's like where do all these bolts go? Okay. Okay. Just to verify before. Oh, check it out. It's calibrating. Is there an extra of those though, Blair? Did you still end up with one extra? Oh. Uh no, you forgot one. I probably did the same thing. Yeah. There were yeah, there was the four. one that went into the slot. There's four that go. Yeah, there's one on the bottom, three on the sides, and one on the top. Okay, maybe I forgot the one on the top then, because I put the yep. one in the bottom. I saw that. Oh, we have a loose connection. Oh, you guys are different. grinding gears. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, between our differential and the motor, oh, we have goodness. a loose connection. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm not the only one. No. No, he's stripping the transmission out. Wow. I wish yeah, I, I mean, put the camera on this thing. It really tears. Ripley, stop. You're just grinding the metal down. Well, your finger was in there. Right? <laughs> That's another Aliens reference. You've blown, you you blown the transaxle. Yeah. Seems okay. Blow well, it's transaxle. working. You're just grinding metal. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh. Yeah, it's just I'm gonna have to go back in and look at the connections on the wow. Just the main gear of the differential is is um, skipping against the other gear, but it goes slow. I think maybe my gears aren't meshing inside the. That doesn't sound right, right? Yeah, it does not sound good. Yeah. Well, let's put it yeah. That is not the sound of happiness. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just happy that it's that it's together and moving no, when, at all, when, really. When Logan crunches stuff, it's good. When Technic crunches stuff, it's not good. Well, you yeah. know, I, I feel like it's hitting. Maybe there's a pin or an axle sticking out in the way of it. It feels like it's hitting something. Because hmm. hmm. it's so close. <laughs> I yeah, can spin the game over, man. Game over. Yeah, it's really, really close. All right, you guys, I have a really stupid question. Like I said, I don't use Powered Up much. When I go to the Powered Up app, I only have so many sets displaying. How do you add this set? Did you get the new Technic Powered Up uh, Plus app? Yeah, it's, this is a special, this is a different app. No, it's the control sake. app, it's called. And it oh, has. Of course it is. And it has it has a special <laughs> amount of sets, yeah. Okay. Well, so and also my question. Because, no, because and then there's going to be double. There's going to be powered the, up double um, plus, and then powered up double plus good. What then, is it called? Powered up what? <laughs> it says it on the box. It's like control plus or something like that. Debo what? bricks. Uh, yeah. control? Yes, Debo bricks. It's a differential issue in ours. Our um, it's just for either the differential isn't moving smoothly. 
or we have a loose connection between the main um, drive gear and the differential. Oh, wait. Do you, so have, this do you have any gears left over? If you have one of those tan gears left over, you had the same problem I had. No, no. I, I got them all in there and it spun. Oh, okay. And if I move it slowly, the differential. So it seems to me the problem is in here somewhere. That's what I think. It's, it's not the amount it's of this, the motor. It's this black gear right here. <laughs> is not this might be the longest in. stream ever i love it you what know i think is. this is honestly this is a perfect review in how yeah, to comes. not mess it up yeah <laughs> it's like what what not to do can you get some of the best lego minds together and show you how okay. to do it wrong yeah well maybe um yeah that is weird that you have a loose connection there um yeah we do definitely have a yeah, I'm not quite even sure with what the wheel is. off, I can just make it skip. Yeah. Well, I wonder really if it's one of these tight. leftover pieces. Oh, I'll tell you, Richard, that really grinds my gears. Oh. 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 He was waiting for that. He was waiting. I was but waiting. This set turns my crank. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold yours up. Hold yours up. I, pull the, pull this wheel off, and hold this up. Towards the. Yeah, they better run yeah like that. <laughs> So, so see this rotates, and but it, when we put yeah. it down, it doesn't. Yeah, when there's any weight on it at all, it doesn't turn the motor. It just disengages between the differential and this gear. Yep, that is weird. It might just be rubbing on something. That's what I was wondering: is if there's like a an axle sticking out in its way or yep. something. Mm. something. Yeah, if you didn't press those flat axles all the way flush, then that would cause a problem too. I might need to do Try. some unbuilding to get that. It's so close though. I mean, we have the connection between the remote and it. Do you, and you have, says, and you got Debo all of these in here, right? Because you yeah, got all the these in the there, right? Yeah, the axle is filled right up. Oh, oh. Why is this loose? I don't know. It's not, I did something wrong. Of course. Yeah, well, so no, no, I, I think what we can take away from this is that <laughs> technics can be hard. <laughs> and pay attention. No, but, and what pay I learned, attention. what so I this learned is, actually is interesting. So you know where I said in the, the same step what, to make the wire connection was where the panel goes. That was wrong because it actually was supposed to connect to the other side. But it lets you know if you have a wrong connection. Oh, oh well, that's good, good to know. That's yeah. good to know. Very yeah. good. What I learned is, if you buy this set and you put it together, you get to put it together twice. So you get twice the value. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you're getting your money's worth. It's not hard. It just has extra playability. Exactly. So many extra playability levels. Um, so I, I really mean, don't know how I lost this piece out of there somehow. <laughs> oh, I know. I have one of those on the back that's not fixed down. Oh, like, you know, it. it's just part of the frame of the car. Well, oh, oh yeah, that's where it goes. OK. I don't know what that is all about, though. I feel like that's <laughs> a kickstand in there. So okay, but I gotta say, I gotta say, for I gotta say this though, for um, for what you get out of this, it seems like a pretty good. Yeah. I think it's pretty good value. It's really cool, still. You know, it's a it is a cool build. It's interesting to see how, like especially this. I find this whole thing fascinating. All of this, yeah, like the way yeah. that it hangs off on the back and the shocks work is great. So you get those cool. shocks pieces. You I get mean, Flynn, that thing is the perfect frame for a post-apocalyptic vehicle. It really it is. It is. Yeah. Totally. You're right. I love these angles. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Gosh. Well, I've got, uh, I love it. The technical difficulties make me want it more, says Aubrey Kova. That's <laughs> yeah. Yay. Lots to learn. I honestly, I, I smoke up Johnny. Problem. Thank you. Problem you we, converted we smoke up Johnny in the end. <laughs> my, my daughter just ran over my foot with it. Uh, ten out of ten from her. Big smiles. <laughs> there you go. Well, if you do end up building this set, let us know what your experience was like. You know, send us photos or let us know that yeah, you got you it right and faster notes. than we did. Yeah. But I'm not at all about speed building. I love taking my time yeah. with Lego and just hanging either. out. Well, I'm how fun that we all got to hang out and Whoa. do this together today. I almost ran over my feet with it. And, 
And I also wanted to say a um, a little a little farewell to Moto, who is yeah. not going to be joining us for the next few weeks because nope. he's got a work project he's got to do. I don't yep. know. We're gonna miss your energy, man. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be sad, but you know they said they said it will only last through the spring quarter, so you know. Very you good. Well, you will, you will be back soon enough. Soon Thunderman enough. might show up while you're gone. I don't I know. hope so. I hope yeah, so. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Um, oh, Blair. I like how Blair's the mini kind of version. Out there. But I love. I, I gotta say, I love like, doing. Um, I love this building sets together. I think this is so fun having everybody work on seeing what. Um, you know where people got caught up, like what you know, like what things worked, what didn't work. I thought it was really, um, I thought it was really fun. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Well, uh, so don't forget, everybody. Uh, I just want to mention again, Lego did provide these uh, <laughs> these sets for us today to put together. Uh, they were. It was a great set. I had a lot of fun doing it, and. Um, it was still, I mean, I had fun building it and also frustration, but it was altogether, I think, a pretty cool fun build. I even enjoyed the frustration. It was like, I like I liked the problem solving aspect. So this is super, this was really enjoyable yeah. for me. And, and we it. gave one away too. Yes, and we gave one away. Monica Berry oh, will now, okay. can now enjoy the fun and That's frustration right. of the- hey, Don't worry, of someone asked about the cold water. Don't worry. Don't worry, Splashy's just going to be in the fridge chilling out for a few weeks, and, and then and Splashy will be back. <laughs> Very good. Oh, and speaking of birthdays, happy early birthday, Moto. Thank you. Yes, yeah, happy early yeah. birthday, happy Moto. Early birthday. Yeah, we'll be around for it, but yeah, it's next yeah. week. Thank you very much. Well, I'll, you'll be hearing from me. I know. Well, you yeah, like I can't not. escape you. <laughs> oh, <babe. laughs> you can't. It's true. You really can't. Um, so, well, thanks, everybody, so much for joining us today. Again, if you enjoyed the set and you want to pick it up, you can check out. There will be an affiliate link on the website. It's also in the description of this video. You can just scroll down. Um, uh, and that is an affiliate link. It only works for this set. It does not work for any of anything else on the LEGO website, but it does work for this. And this is on double VIP points right now. Okay. So Yay. there's that as well. Awesome. So uh, I hope that you uh, enjoyed the show today. I know I did. It was fun hanging out with everybody. It actually made it less frustrating to hear other people also having exactly yeah. yeah. But um, I uh, it was really fun. We're gonna do it again. Uh, well, Wednesday it'll be more mm -hmm. of a hanging out. There's only yeah, one set to put together. Uh, but we're going to be giving away that Old Trafford Manchester sta uh, United Stadium there. Maybe I said it right. It, hopefully I get it down. Yeah, it's like the monkey, kid, the monkey, monkey King, King kid, Warrior. Monkey Mac. King Warrior. Yeah, it, is, it is our new Monkey King, Monkey Kid Warrior. Oh, I just, I just <laughs> you guys. A little teaser. So, it's the Old Stafford Monkey King Warrior Stadium. <laughs> um, I want to get a teaser. So, we just hit 2,000 subscribers. Yay. And Yay. I say let's keep on going. Let's try yes, for 2,500 now. And if we can get to 2,500, oh, oh. courtesy Moto, we have the Comic-Con Star Wars Nebulon Frigate. Heck yeah. Nice. Yep, Comic-Con exclusive Neblon Frigate, the one That's that everybody cool. was scrambling to get and everybody was sad when they couldn't. We are <laughs> going to be giving this away yep. at 2,500 subscribers. And then when we hit 3,000 subscribers, somebody is going to have a, what? Star, Star Wars Destroyer. something, Star Destroyer. Star, Star Destroyer. something. <laughs> Star Wars Star Destroyer, thank you. It's huge. Make room in your house because you'll have to. But um, but this is our next next. They call it a stretch goal. Okay, so your next just... stretch goal, twenty five hundred. <laughs> so we'll just kind of keep kind of floating around in the background, waiting for that to happen. Yep. Awesome. Yep. So thank you so much, Moto, for that awesome prize. No problem. Super appreciate that, and thank you to um, Look, our give... friend Will Letchworth for providing. The uh, that massive Star Destroyer Crazy. that is currently sitting in Minifig Chick's storage space. 
Thankfully. It is huge. Yeah, if <laughs> you win the Nebula and B, out you... if we <laughs> if we didn't. So and to the winner of the Nebula and B in the future, you know, Luke can't give you a hand with that. Yep. That'll be all on you. All on you. Monkey Kid Nebulon, Old Trafford King. There, I am there. <laughs> that is absolutely that's absolutely gonna happen. Well, it was a long one today. Thanks everybody for hanging out and and sticking it out to get all to get it done. We got to see it move, which I was really excited about. Um, and uh, don't forget, um, I'll be back tomorrow on Monday on Twitch, continuing to build the medieval blacksmith shop. Uh, that'll be at 2 p.m. PST on Twitch, and then we'll be back on Wednesday building. I'm just gonna say the stadium, building that stadium. <laughs> and having a discussion about that set Huge and set uh, what it's one. enormous. I think that might be the biggest set we've ever put together on this show. Mm -hmm. It'll be it'll be interesting. really bigger than oh on the show. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. so I was thinking I the Hogwarts that, was ridiculous. Yeah. Yes, that was. But that big. was on Twitch. That yeah. was on Twitch. That was, this one for actual here, and we may be you know that one's not one we're gonna be able to do probably the whole thing on camera that's going to be like a partial but we are we are dedicating two shows to it don't forget also that our um our current challenge challenge is make your own brick heads it is a make your own brick heads challenge and uh you are challenged to make your own brick heads there's a whole uh thing about it up in the uh in the Discord server, and there'll be one uh, something up about it on the website. So, everybody, have a really great rest of your Sunday. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, if you had a good time, give the stream a thumbs up. Um, thanks to our panel: Moto, Holly, Minifig Chick, and Blair, and Bear, Blair, the fastest fingers in in the West, <laughs> getting the uh, getting that together so we can see it all just, roll. Just don't get too excited about One Piece that you. Skip four people. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, everybody. Until next time, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we'll see you Monday at 2 p.m. on Twitch. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Happy building. Bye. 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 Bye.